else going on? Are you good? Yeah, I just had like a really good grip and rip. Is there a problem? Don't, you can't, you can't go around. Listen, I know I made a horrible sound that may have sounded like I was getting killed or stabbed. Nah, I'm fine. It was just a grip and a rip. Did I hurt my fingies? My fingies are super strong and powerful, actually. I'm good. I'm fine. But I do have bad news, Chad. I think I've officially entered my sleepy phase where I am going to be sleepy every day until the day I die. I think it's too late for me. I even got a good amount of sleep tonight. I'm just sleepy still. What'd I do wrong? What'd I do wrong? Hey, God, what did I do wrong? What'd I do? I think my mistake this time was that I ate too much breakfast. It's always something, man. It's always something. I think this time was that I ate too much breakfast. And now my tummy is working overtime. There's just no way I'm ever going to recover from the horrible, horrible position I'm in. The metabolism of a 40 year old. My metabolism is fine. Matter of fact, my metabolism is great. No one's questioned, no one dares question my metabolism, okay? My metabolism could beat your metabolism in a fight, okay? It would kick your metabolism's ass. You'd be destroyed in but an instant. Which one of us can't gain muscle mass again? Oh, I can. I just have to I just have to eat so much food to do it. I can. I was able to bulk up during the time when I was actually able to use my elbow. But I had to go up to like 3,000 calories a day or some bullshit. Like, I had to actually intake, like, an immense amount of food every day. It wasn't fun. Oh, sure. Blame your stummy. Isn't that, like, a pretty valid bl thing to blame? I think that's, like, the super valid thing to blame. I think that's pretty valid. Yeah, I, I reached like a point where I was like, I really wanted to get huge. <laughs> I really enjoyed pumping and getting huge, but I had to like spend an insane amount of money, like just buying fucking like high calorie drinks and they didn't taste good at a certain amount of calories in that drink. It's not, it doesn't taste very good. It tastes like poison. <laughs> Too much of something like calories tastes like poison. It turns into like this kind of thick slop. And that was like the only way I could, I could grow. So I just didn't want to do it anymore. I'm okay. I, I don't need to be huge. Okay. I'm okay. Just being normal. I don't need to be huge. Tiny arc. Dude, I am normal. I'm not tiny. I'm not like a noodle. Like, I do still work out. Like, I, I, I am I am in good shape. I'm just not like deliberately trying to bulk now. Show the guns then. I don't want to turn on my webcam, dude. I just got a haircut. Like, I had to get up today. Drive to get a haircut. So I'm in post-haircut mode. Right now. Okay. I'm not about to- I'm not about to turn on no webcam. No, sir. I need a cut. Dude, I hadn't had a haircut in, like, fucking two and a half months. 
It was bad. It was getting bad. Do you test stream stories at the hair place? No, usually I am the guy who doesn't talk. I don't say a goddamn word. <laughs> usually I'm going in there like 10 minutes after waking up. I'm not having a conversation. We are not here to converse. We are here for you to cut my hair and then I leave. <laughs> We're here so I can stare at something in the room without breaking contact for a single moment. Okay, he hates small talk. I just don't have the energy so that like that early in the day to converse, to talk, interact, engage with anyone about anything. Leave me alone, all right? He saves all the small talk for the intros. Well, see, good news is I've been ha the same person has cut my hair for like a decade, literally. So like, <laughs> good news is not much to talk about. There's never, ha there's, there's not much to talk about. So like, it, it's, it, they understand, they know how it is. It's not like an awkward thing where they're like, ah, uh, how you been? It's like a, they know, they know what the deal is. It's been this way since I fucking like, since I first came in the door day one. Ugh. Oh, coffee. Do they know you're a hardcore gamer? Everyone knows that. I wear one of my gamer t-shirts every day when I go outside that says, I can't die, I just respawn. I wear those, unironically. Yeah. Believable as it should be. I've tried very hard to, you know, let people know kind of like a warning that I'm gaming. I will be gaming. Don't bother me. I may be gaming even right now. And if you bother me, I'm going to get mad. Are you going to wear your own merch? I'd have to have merch to wear my own merch. <laughs> you fool. You fool. But no, I don't think I'd wear my own merch if I had my own merch. If I had my own mug, I'd drink out of my own mug because I like mugs. I use mugs a lot. But I'm not about to wear anything involving my own branding that feels dystopian. <laughs> that something about that feels wrong. You know what I mean? Where is the tomato plush? For context again, chat, that plush I posted on Twitter like a long time ago. That was made by my sister for like Christmas as a gift to me or like my birthday. One of those two. Like that's not something I can, I'm really going to have like fucking reworked into merchandise I'm going to sell. <laughs> that's, that's not happening. So. Okay, but where's mine though? True. True, dude. I want one. Look, everyone knows I could cash out a lot on making money out of like fucking zero effort merchandise, but at the end of the day, I'm lazy. I could cash out so hard, but I'm just so fucking lazy and I, I just can't, I can't, you know, 
I've entered my... I guess, I guess confronting now the week that I've had where I've been sleepy every day. I guess I've entered my sleepy arc. I'm going to be sleepy until I die, I think now. I think this might be my last arc before death arc. So, like, I'm making peace with it now. I'm, I'm making peace with a lot of things. That's very dramatic, Tomato, but it's also very accurate. I think. Oh, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine, chat. Alright. We're gonna be fine. I'm not that bad. I was really bad on System Shock Day. And I was kind of bad yesterday. I'm feeling alright. I'm not feeling like terrible. I'm feeling like the coffee will kick in and save my life. But, I mean, hey, unfortunately, in this industry, you gotta stream sleepy sometimes. That's just how, that's how the market is. You gotta, sometimes you gotta go. 50 bucks, most of the streamers you watch are sleepy all the time. All right, they just don't tell you. They just don't say. Ugh. I just don't say. Everyone's sleepy, I guess. Huh. He said, I'm being, dude. <laughs> Chad, I'm being really brave. Come on, let's all be honest, though. I'm being really brave about how sleepy I've been. Uh, and a lot of other people would have cracked under the pressure by now. I'm being pretty fucking brave about it. Yep. I, I, I I'm kind of a hero. You know? I'm kind of a hero. And modest and humble. One day we will get the tomato. We'll, we'll have Tomato pass out on stream. That's never going to happen. Dude, I've never once... Like, the closest I got... Alright, to be real, the closest I got to being like, I'm gonna fall asleep on my fucking stream was System Shock. That was actually... That's why I stopped early. Was I was like, I'm gonna fucking actually clock out live like i'm gonna stop saying words that make sense i'm gonna start like slurring my speech it's all gonna start mixing together and then i'm going to pass unconscious that'd be a great yeah i just start talking and then i'm gonna <laughs> And then you just hear me fucking smack my face into the keyboard and not wake back up again. And then the problem with that is you're a streamer, so people go, fucking funny. That's a joke, right? <laughs> and then more people come in because it's actually the funniest thing you did all week was the part where you weren't even there. The best thing that ever happened to my stream was that time I passed unconscious and almost died. <sighs> Damn, honestly though, probably would be. Q Sam locked out of his house. Dude, chat, I talked to Sam recently about this specific thing. And it is the frequency at which we, as a collective community, f just fucking dunk on him. <laughs> because every time we do, he hears about it and then he reacts. It's like a fucking sick and twisted cycle. But yes, on record, I will say the most iconic thing Sam has ever done was get locked out of his house and stream his chair in the middle of a room on a webcam for fucking five hours. Okay, we all know this. We don't need to get into more detail. We know this. 
I did not know this. Well, now you know this. He just tweeted a picture of his neighbor's fake dogs. Dude, that's the... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. All right, I know I just said I didn't want to keep on dunking on my very good friend, Sam, one of my best buddies in the world, but I actually didn't have the strength to reply the level of, like, I would say lethal sarcasm I would have sent his way when I clocked that one of those two things was absolutely a fucking sheep. I think it might have killed him. Like, I actually didn't fucking post the tweet. I, like, I was sitting on, like, five different drafts of horrible things I could say. <laughs> and I deleted all of them. I was just like, this isn't the energy I need to bring into the world right now. Think about positivity. But one of those two dogs was definitely a sheep, right? That's a sheep. Those weren't even dogs. Nah, I get it though. My one of my neighbors outside has this picture has like a statue of Jesus Christ on their lawn. And like I'll look out there sometimes and think there's a little Jesus outside that's alive. Sometimes I'll look right out there and be like, oh fuck, is that him? And then I'll uh you know. My eyes will focus and I'll remember that that's that's a statue. That's not actually little Jesus. Yeah. Dude, it's weird though. It's like kind of creepy that fucking statue of Jesus. Not because it's Jesus, but because it fucking lights up in the dark. It's like they got, I put like a light bulb in it. <laughs> so at night, I'll look out my window and I'll see just Jesus in the middle of a pitch black like lawn just staring at me through my window. And I'm just like, Jesus, uh, relax, man. Like, it's just a whole lot. It's life-sized. It's about the size of... It's like up to my waist. It's like a pretty big... Like lawn fixture. It's not small. In the grand scheme. It's like the size of like a hobbit. And it's just Jesus on the other side of a fucking... Lawn. Staring at me. Why couldn't someone have like snatched that away instead of my mailbox all those all those fateful years ago? Why couldn't it have been the Jesus statue taken away? So I wouldn't feel judged every single time I like went upstairs into my kitchen. But there's the thing. Jesus in this case has a perfect angle to my goddamn kitchen. And that kind of wigs me out sometimes because I mean Jesus is fucking watching me in some of my darkest moments when I'm snacking at fucking like 4 a.m. He sees it all. He literally sees it all. He's seeing all of it. He knows, man. He knows. Kids near me just steal street signs. That's like... I feel like it'd be more acceptable to steal anything else but the markers that detail where you're going on a road. You know what I mean? Like, that's that shit's actual, like, fucking full-on psycho crimes. A victimless crime. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I've seen, like, people steal, so like, stop signs and stuff. And no, that's actually, uh, there's a lot of victims possibly to that crime. Uh, when a stop sign suddenly isn't where it's supposed to be anymore. That's like the fastest crime you can do. That's a fast vill- Like, th there's a lot of victims to that crime. 
But what if the stop sign had already fallen over? Dude, I'm sorry I took that $200. It fell off the desk, so I assumed it was garbage, dude, so I took it. I took it, it fell off the desk. It fell right off your desk, so I saw it on the ground. I assumed you didn't want it, dude, I took it. I'm sorry. What? Dude, it's because it fell over. Does it mean it's like trash to take with you? Like, what do you mean? Five second rule. <laughs> it's on the ground for five seconds. Obviously, you didn't care about it that much. Mine. Mine. Insane take. You're surely talking about the everyone else's takes on this subject and not my take, which I would think is very sane. Surely you're talking about the the other's takes. You are right. Okay. Finders keepers. It's just like, I don't know, dude. That kind of culture, it happened around where I lived. People would steal like signs and stuff, especially when they were like seniors in high school. And it's just like, dude, what the, what the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> like, just steal the statue of Jesus Christ. Just, just steal the statue, right? Because at least then I'm also free of the judgment. I'm so tired of going upstairs and just fucking snacking and Jesus is just judging me the whole time. I'm just so tired of it. Be the change you want in the world, streamer. Yeah, but like, chat, the neighbors are actually really nice. So what I'm doing is I'm making it clear that if someone else wants to get it, I'm putting out a hit. <laughs> All right. I don't want to be the one directly, like, directly responsible for the disappearance of a statue that's judging me every night when I snack. But... If it were to go away because someone <laughs> because someone else grabbed the statue and took it, then that's fine. I don't feel as responsible for that. That could have been anything, you know? Okay, but if suddenly the statue disappears, that's going to be scary. No, it'd only be scary if there was like also footprints leading along the lawn and into like the woods following where the statue was. That would make it scary. Otherwise, it's just disappeared. If there's footprints, that's now like the statue came alive and scampered off and that's fucking horrifying, so. Yeah, that's wild. Tomato, this can be used as evidence in a court case if a person gets caught stealing. Oh, sorry, chat. Um, I do need to make this so clear. And if you cut this out of like any kind of court evidence, you are deliberately going around important details and context. Met in Minecraft. Obviously. Met in Minecraft. We all know this. Yeah. You know, in Minecraft. That defense doesn't work anymore. Why is it because too many people did it? I can say in Fortnite, pretty much anything happens in Fortnite now. I could change it to in Fortnite. I'm pretty sure all of it's in Fortnite. The Fortnite defense is still legal, yes. Some guy did get arrested after saying in Minecraft. Yeah, but did the guy who got arrested after saying in Minecraft also do a crime? Like, that got him arrested in the first place?
Like, what was what was the extent of what they th said before in Minecraft? Yeah, chat, like all of those things are a little bit more extreme uses. Like that's really pushing the bar of what you can add before the line in Minecraft, if I'm going to be honest. Like I'm I'm pretty sure Minecraft still uh I'm pretty sure that defense still works for the the victimless crime of disappearing a statue of a beloved religious figure off of the lawn of my neighbors that judges me every night while I snack. There is no, this is, these are different things. These are different things, you see. Don't you understand? Ugh. The worst part is, dude, I'm one of those people that when, like, it's nighttime and I'm upstairs and I'm, like, doing stuff, I, like, pull the blinds down because I don't like that idea that in the pitch black darkness someone can see me from, like, a fucking mile away right into my windows. That wigs me out. I don't like that. My family is, like, the opposite. They just want everyone to see. So, like, every time that I, like, go upstairs to, like, do something and I get to, like, the fucking kitchen... I have to frantically close all the blinds because I can see Jesus and I can see that if I can see them, anyone in any building on this entire street can see me. I gotta, I gotta put on my fucking drip when I go upstairs, dude, because everyone in the goddamn town can see me. I dress to, I dress to impress when I go to the kitchen, man, because I know everyone's going to be watching. I know they can see. Hell yeah. You mean gray shirt and athletic shorts? You know it. You know it, man. Hell yeah, man. Fucking dressed up, looking nice. Hell yeah. It's a winning style. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with being a little stylish, you see. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Remember that time Tomato wore a pocket protector to TwitchCon? That might be the fucking most just wild and specific... Like, just dis a attempted destruction of my character I've ever seen. The one where you just tried to tell everyone that I, like, wore a pocket protector to TwitchCon. That kind of pisses me off. Mods, can I have some- can I get, like, some interception, like, some defense here from my mods, please? Can there- can I get some interception here? I mean, was it a lie? It sounded true, TBH. Who? What the fuck are pocket protectors for? That's like for like fucking like pens, right? Like when you don't want that, like what, like the ink? Like that's what that's for? You didn't deny it. What is the point? What's the point of denying it? Like, what are you fucking- Of course I didn't wear a pocket protector to TwitchCon like some fucking dweeb. But, like, if I say I didn't do it, people say he's lying. So all I can really do is attempt to posture myself in such a way that I may not even know what a pocket protector is. Which is my defense right now. What is that? Pretty sure they don't make those anymore.
not tomato gaslighting us over a pocket protector. Dude, I am at my very fucking limit. Holy shit. Bull. Can someone explain to me what a pocket protector is actually for? Is it for what I said? Like protecting your shirt from the ink of like a pen. When you use it, like when you use that fucking chest pocket. Fucking hell, man. It's like a condom for your pocket. Time that guy out. He speaks the truth. Just because someone speaks the truth doesn't mean they don't, they shouldn't be immediately silenced for it. All right, come on guys. Let's be real. Let's get real for a second. Literally in 1984. No, it's literally 2023, motherfucker. Come back to Earth. Wrong, dude. Dude, I'm just, I just. I bet I could pull off pocket protector. I bet I could pull off that look, the nerd look. I bet I could, bet I could do it. Bet I could do it. No one can pull it off. You already did. You already do. Ugh. Dude, I don't use pens. <laughs> Dude, I have no reason to use a pocket protector. I don't write things with my hands I type I don't I don't like there's nothing what am I ever writing with my hands this guy doesn't sign checks who the fuck uses checks no 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 be real not that many people like, like yeah you use them once or twice but that's not an urgency to i need to have my pocket protector i don't want this pen to explode and fuck up my sh like no there's a they give you pens at places where you need to sign a check or you just have a pen in your house somewhere no one uses checks regularly enough that you would be like i need a pen on my goddamn chest 24 7. You should have said you didn't know how to write. Dude, I will not get owned. I will not get owned. But let's all be honest about one important thing. Unless you work a job where you are constantly writing things by hand, by expectation of the job. When was the last time you really wrote something by hand in any kind of extended way where you constantly needed a pen on you 24-7? That's what computers are for, baby. All right, that's what typing and keyboards are for, okay? We don't do that anymore. I did with the stylus on my phone, though. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. Most of my notes are for D&D. &D. Dude, here's the thing. I can write in good handwriting, but the problem is I'm a lefty. So writing anything is kind of a battle against my own body. In the sense that 
whatever I write, my hand is going to swipe away in another couple of seconds for the most part and smudge. So I, I can't write like D and D notes on hand. I use fucking, I use a notepad text file. All right. That's where my notes are for things. That's I type things. I'm faster typing anyways. Have you tried your right hand? No. And I don't have my own can opener. It's not that hard to use a normal can opener. The only thing that I've ever needed like a lefty version of is like scissors. And honestly, I'm like relatively ambidextrous enough. I only really write with my left hand. Everything else I do with my right hand. So like I can use right-handed scissors with my right hand. Like I just can't I can't write things with like a pen with my right hand. That's all. But like if you ask me to like throw a baseball or something, I'm going to do that with my right hand. I throw with my right hand. I just can't write with my right hand. That's all. Aren't scissors symmetrical? Absolutely not. Not like, not like real ones. Like maybe like the fucking ones that you like give a child in like elementary school, to like cut construction paper, but like real ones are not symmetrical. Symmetrical ones are basically for babies. Yeah, that's for like, that's for like fucking idiot children. You know, come on. Not me. So you, wrong. I won't get owned. Pretty sure fabric scissors are symmetrical. But, 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 what does that have to do with with me and my day to day life with things I need scissors for? I'm not out here cutting fabric. That's a very niche kind of scissors. What do people even need scissors for? Now I know you just didn't ask me what the hell scissors are for. <laughs> now I know you didn't just say that to me. You asked people what they used pens for not two minutes ago. No, I asked people how much they're actually using pens. <laughs> Which is, I would assume, in the year of our Lord, 2023. Amen. Uh, not very much. In the, in the grand scheme compared to 10 years ago likely much less I still handwrite my college notes look despite having relatively decent handwriting there is still a part of me that no matter what would always type anything I want to make sure I'm able to refer back to and read without having a moment of like what the fuck does that say no 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 I've rushed what the fuck does that say what is that what was I saying? You know, like that, that happens. Handwriting is way more good for memory than typing because it's slower. Yeah, but like, if it's slow, dude, I've only got so much time in my life before I die. And you want me to do something slower? No, man, no. No, 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 no. No, man.
Imagine writing anything in our chat GPT era, though. Dude. Anyone that gets caught using chat GPT for a fucking, like, report or something deserves to be fully expelled from their school because there's no way you're dumb enough to get caught when all you have to do is change, like, fucking five words to get away with it. There's no way. You deserve to be fully removed from any educational format for the rest of your days you're dumb enough to get caught. Not dumb enough to use it, dumb enough to get caught. Dude, it's wild, like, the those, like, memes you see now of, like, people, like, posting, like, a fucking, like, report they were reviewing as, like, a teacher, and, like, the third paragraph is, like, ChatGPT going, As an AI, I feel nothing for this topic, but yet I will continue for another five to ten pages as requested. And it's like, dude, read it! Read what you're putting into the- what do you mean?! I appreciate that a lot of AI programs seem to have ways of outing themselves as AI periodically every like maybe paragraph or two where they just go as an AI I don't know what any of this means but here I go they just keep doing that I kind of like it Damn. Control F A I easy fucking solve. Yeah, I mean, it's not fucking hard to remove. Like, it's not. Listen, okay. If you're unwilling to put in the actual effort into writing the thing, it means you should have plenty of time now to put in the effort into proofreading the thing that just got spat out in front of your face in less than 15 seconds, right? Like, there you go. But yeah. The problem is people use GPT as a search engine and don't double check what it says. Is it true that, like, chat GPT cite sources that don't exist, like, actually fabricates sources? That's wild. <laughs> that's what. that's wild. That's funny. <laughs> Based, I do that too. Dude, the second that, the second anyone gives you permission to use Wikipedia for sources, just write your own sources and put them right on Wikipedia. Fucking poison the water. There you go. Easy peasy. I am my source. Hell yeah. Alright, I think we're gonna get on to the radio game chat. I think we're gonna get on in there. I don't know if we're gonna beat this game. I've heard that it goes, it fluctuates greatly from the length of six hours to the length of two if I fumble every ball. Uh, it's kind of similar to that game I played a while back where I was at security guard and I had to like take calls and like help people with things. I heard this one's pretty good. Uh, I heard this is a pretty interesting, like fun game. Uh, if we don't beat it, we don't beat it. Around, I'm probably gonna go for about a four hour stream today. Is what is what I'm looking at here. So, you played it before? No. Or I would have said that. No, I've not played this before. There was a uh, there was a version of it that was like a free to play, like itch itch io version. I think like a long time ago, but that dev proceeded to then make this, you know, full game. So. Should be a good time. I think we're gonna have fun today. And if we don't, well, I'm gonna be really upset at, at, at one of you specifically. It's gonna really piss me off.
All right. New game. Here we are. In the cursed alley. Okay. Huh. Oh! Okay. Pick up objects, no problem. Use scroll wheel to swap hands, okay. R to throw things, perfect. Very cool, nice, nice. <laughs> What the hell's going on down here? What am I even doing in this spooky alleyway? Oh. <laughs> My dude's just an asshole. What? Oh, okay. Um, well, there's nothing I can do about that, but I don't know why my guy is wandering around the fucking, like, alleyways, flipping switches and pulling levers. I think I scared them away. Oh. Huh. Nothing. <laughs> Press E to begin inspecting. Okay. K fam. <clears throat> you love that radio station. One of my favorites. Jeez, that makes a loud noise. Hang on, let me try that again. Damn, that is a dense fucking mug. What the fuck? You could kill a man with a mug like this. Damn. Oh. Press control to toggle crouch. Okay. Can't do anything about this elevator. Is there anything in here? No. Yep. Uh, still don't, uh... I don't know exactly what I'm doing back here. Uh, okay, I can open doors amnesia style. It's fun. And uh, what have we here? Uh... Huh? Huh? What? Oh. You have lovely hair. Ow! Oh. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh. And here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. Frog. Oh, I'm gonna play this on. I'm gonna cat. play this on the radio. Four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is, but I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? The what? No. Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. Oh, fucking dense but if you're mugs. sure you don't want to. No, Peggy. We're, we're gonna do the pre-flight check. Just give me a second. I'm getting situated with the controls. We are we are going to do the the the, the flight check. Let's do the check. All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty. This is your captain oh speaking. Oh my god. Really? Come on. Let's have a bit of fun with it for <sighs> once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record <sighs> Grab a record. Holy stick shit. It on the player, that was good. Hit play. Did Easy. she say tubular rents? What'd she just ask me to do? Wait, hang on. I was complimenting your joke. What'd you just ask me to do? Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Okay, one second. 
Oh, I can't wait to do that when people are listening. Just really fucking ruin their headphones. Hell yeah, that'll be fun. The record box Shut is the on fuck the left, up, Peggy! And the record player okay. is on the right. Pick do you know how long I've been doing this job? Table. It's important, That's I gotta okay. pick the right one. Blast prices, 1980X. Uh, David Scopo. Uh, let's see here, The Flow, crying for help. Damn, only six dollars for that one. The Late Night Lurkers, If You Dare, Stab in the Twilight, Knife in the Easy. Storm Riders. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Uh-huh. The Word! Smooth. The Hang-Ups, featuring the, the 1980... The box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. Pick Fe a record and stick it on the turntable. Featuring the, the 1984 cake. hit, Let Me Go. This is the one. Let's get that on the fucking table! Okay, we're gonna grab a different one. I think that one just broke. Uh, we're gonna do the word. Let's fucking get that shit on the table. Yes, man. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. What? All right. All right, up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Okay. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Donald yeah, Key? It's a riot. <laughs> Great. And button two works just the what? same. So, let's Damn, move Peggy. to the Peggy button. You funny. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press, Press it when you need my Peggy. help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, Damn, I was hoping it was that slider. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. All right. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm gonna smash through the, the fucking glass. Like, you keep on yeah. making this a joke, done? Peggy. I swear to God, <laughs> I will kick right through that glass. That's an easy one. What would she ask? Hang on, I missed it while I was being toxic. Oh. Uh. Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. Wrong. That's the soundboard GTX3, idiot. Oh, sorry. Is that a C? CTX3. It's the thing covered in buttons. Uh, I'm gonna do the. Yeah, let's let's listen to what that sad clown sounds like. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. Okay. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All right. Seems okay. to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time. Wait, I have to go to the bathroom. You. Wait, 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 wait. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Don't start the show yet. Let's get the show started. Wait, don't start. After don't start the show yet. Our first segment is Guess That Scream. What? I thought that was a joke. Nope. And don't blame me for this one. Guess it's That Reggie Scream? Day, and he demands we do it tonight. Wait. Okay, what? you're live in three, two. 189.60. Oh, oh. Guess that scream, folks. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start <laughs> taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only Hell late yeah. night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Hell yeah, Here's hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. Well, guess the scream. Simple we need as you that. to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toes? Okay. Saw off a finger or discover the corpse? I feel of like that's gonna one. be really hard that's for good. anyone to do. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close and then call in to guess that scream. Okay. Peggy, 
What do you mean, play the tape? I just have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you have to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Chop, where's the tape? Forrest, you do have the tape, right? We don't have the tape! We were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. It's not a good idea. It's honestly no, really I, bad. I don't have the tape. We don't it have the tape. Maybe a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so. <sighs> All right, I'll have to do one of my patented Tom and Jerry screams into the microphone. Come on, dude. What? What am I, a clown? All right. Uh, I. What if I just decline? I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Okay, so I have some options here for the kind of scream I can have Forrest deliver to the audience. They're so excited. Uh, let's see here. We can do the perturbed Yeti scream. I feel like Forrest is going to kind of phone that one in. We do the Yeti. The falling from cliff scream. Or the drowning scream. I don't think that one's going to be... I don't think that one's very easy to convey. The drowning scream. I feel like we're going to get the best effort from doing the falling from cliff scream. But I am most intrigued by what the idea of a drowning scream is. What? Dead air. What? Dude, there have been people on their radios driving down the highway listening to this fucking station. And there's not been a scream in about a minute and a half. It's been just dead silent. And any second now... The mics is gonna turn on and it's gonna go, Aah! and they're gonna have, they're just gonna fucking absolutely veer off the fucking road. <laughs> uh, let's do the drowning one. Forest. That sucked. Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you no get one's alive, gonna call, you dude, that Two sucks. To the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough. Fried Just call dough. in at five dude, five I could five go for two some three nine fried dough. K fam with your Holy guests. Holy shit! Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I have to do music. Uh, I don't want to use this one. Oh fuck! Uh, let's do um. Well, let's listen to the 1988 uh, X blast processor. Fuck, I, I don't know how to put the thing on the thing again. I forgot how to do it. Uh, one, one second. One second. One second. Uh, let me just... Play a record, Forrest. Shut the fuck up, Peggy. Oh, should I introduce the song? Time to go on the journey that is. Last Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Oh, yeah. God, Forrest, that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people Was think that, that amazing? Was. was it amazing? How the hell did I get into this mess? Was well, it an amazing Forrest. scream? That's going to be the highlight of my week. That was the highlight of your week. Was Forrest going... Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay. One second. Oh, call. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Am I about Nash. to get owned? What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. Hi, Leslie. I'm a 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. All right. Uh, shouldn't you be working right now? Leslie, I've got to say I'm always happy to have a caller... But, uh, shouldn't our 911 operator and police dispatcher be minding the phones? What? Oh, 
Forrest. You have no idea. Listen, I found a body. I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right. I'll I think I just it. hung up on them. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. Oh, wait. No, we're I'm good. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. It's in the fucking contract, Forrest, Peggy. I really don't think this is a prank. That one wasn't supposed to make the... I wasn't expecting that sound. Uh, you should call the sheriff. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. Yep. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? Yeah. I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Huh? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. Aw, oh, dang. Never before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Oh, fuck. Someone got up very close and... I really don't This is all live, Leslie. Should this be him. getting covered live? Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but uh -huh. Is there anyone else? Where are the other officers? I don't I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or <laughs> whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I Damn. Right after I found That's her. some fucked God. up shit. Wait. That's wild. Don't tell me that this hick town it's only radio has two gold. Cops. Don't be ridiculous. Crazy. We have three, but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but Yeah, Leslie, Leslie, Something's Leslie. Wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Uh, shut the fuck up, Let Leslie. Is the, Leslie, the problem is shut the fuck up. Like, it. there's people but trying to get on the line for the screen thing. The for the tickets, Who's for the maze maze, and the, uh, fried dough. So shut the fuck up. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. <laughs> what? What? I'm sorry, what? Yeah, Leslie, pass. <laughs> get me through the door. Let me leave. <laughs> Let me get the fuck out of here. <laughs> There's gonna be so much blood on my hands. <laughs> what do you mean every 911 call's going to me? No, this is a bad no, idea. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? True. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. I'm gonna start drowning her out with music. So good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other. Oh, thank God, ideas. I've got Peggy. Work together. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. Fuck I have off! An I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. Okay. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. That seems really Is there dumb. Any way you can reach the keys? Doesn't that mean no. that she can leave when she wakes there aren't up? There are any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Ah, uh, what the fuck do they want from me right now? Um, find another way into the cell. Is there another set of There's keys? There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another <laughs> set. Where might another set be? This Leslie's dumb as dirt, dude. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to I don't know. Check Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he. She works you know. there. I'm a fucking radio guy. But 
I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Dude, this is live! This is live! There are kids listening to this shit! On air! We are on air! Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks oh, like Sheriff cool. Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do! Give me wow, a minute till I get the I'll be right back. <laughs> so far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Bad. Really bad. Uh, I'm quitting. I'm quitting after this. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like, like this. Yeah, no. I'm in honestly, I'm gonna double down even more. I'm gonna quit like either way. Either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. <laughs> They're I'm like moving unconscious and dead chair. bodies in like the background on mic while people oh, just are like sorry. driving down the street trying to listen to their fun I'm music. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. <laughs> I'm Come on now, we're just gonna move your body. <laughs> if the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Uh, you're leaving? We're on our own? You mean we're gonna be on our own? Just Peggy and me and no one else responding to emergency calls. What You'll about the fine. scream? You and Peggy just work together like you did. What early. about you can guessing that scream? Now I'll be back as soon as I Oh! What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Damn. Did you just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No, no way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? What's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my, oh my god. god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask. How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Leslie, Who? what's going the on over man. there? The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead! Oh! Boo, we don't what like the hell? that! Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? One. He's coming this way! Get out of there! Leslie, lock the door, Leslie! Lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think! Uh... Uh, take a police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... And while you're doing that, I'm gonna figure out what track I'm gonna play next. Reach your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes! Oh, hell yeah. David Scopo, the moonlight. Part three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But... Wait... I'm How good at am this. I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Uh, take, uh, take Sheriff Matthews' gun. That one won't have any ammo. Deputy Martinez's gun. Deputy Martinez gun. surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Oh my god. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. His gun's gonna be empty! I... You fucking idiot! idiot! It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Wrong one. There it is. Uh, is there a weapon lockup? There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. Okay. No. No. No! Uh, shit! None of the keys work! Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Chat, uh, they're gonna be fine. Uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's they're belt. They're gonna be fine. Listen, this is all gonna be okay. Unless this person gets murdered on right. air, on microphone, like at which point I think our entire one. station's Blood, being like put under arrest. And taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. What should I take? 
Uh, pepper spray, taser, <laughs> not the baton. Uh, probably, honestly, the pepper spray, honestly, the pepper spray is gonna last the longest. You won't have to aim it as carefully. I'm gonna say pepper, pepper spray. spray. should be easy to use and carry. Take that. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then- Chad, stop backsiding me. Uh, shut the fuck up. Wait. Thanks for understanding that. Do you hear that? Buy the game yourself if you're gonna say that crap. Okay, thank you. Uh, no? No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Maybe the freak left. Maybe the freak decided to up and leave. Maybe. I think that may be wishful thinking. But I can't see him out there anymore, so... Okay, Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. My dude's such there a stinker. Go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I've got I my little you. sound bites. Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. So this is just the energy I'm gonna bring. Well, good luck. Good luck. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? You know, I've gotta say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. True, Peggy. And that's why I started immediately playing the next track. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Te <laughs> what if I just don't say- like what? Of course I'm fucking here! Where am I going? Yeah, we're, we're here. here. Leslie, so I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Debbie Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So Epic. I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's, what's happening? happening? <laughs> the whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Forrest, the pepper spray is not working! It's not getting through the mass! Oops! Oh. But you know what? That's good radio. On. Get out of what there! What are you waiting for? Get out of there! Martinez! God damn it! I'm Leslie. sorry. I'm sorry. Forrest. He slit her throat. You need to get to Henderson, Leslie. We can't let this happen again. Peggy's right. We've all got our parts to play now. <laughs> How long do you think it's going to take to get her up? Fucking three tops. It's pretty so damn good. close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours oh, each fuck. way. <laughs> yes, put my foot down. Uh... You bet. You better floor it. You keep that pedal to the floor, then. We'll see when you're back. Thank you. I'll be back as fast as I can. Oh, all right. Both. I. Huh? God damn it. I need a minute. I'll be out of range soon. I'll radio back as soon as I can. Once I got the cavalry. Okay. Try not to crash. Try not to crash. <laughs> we, uh, we need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. <sighs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what just Folks, happened. We're going to turn on the radio and get some new tunes the playing. Of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And We're Leslie, playing today, uh, We're Moonlight by, uh, David Scopo. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, 
or have any information about this Whistling Man character. Now, we're going to be doing this new segment where you get to call in and do your best Whistling Man impression. Try to whistle into the microphone. Here I go. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. And that's how you know I'm not the Whistling Man. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Oh yeah. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. And Damn. Killed about a dozen folks in Galilee. That's a lot of folks. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. Damn. So we're screwed. So we're screwed? Because it sounds like we're screwed. It's impossible well, to sink this. Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. There it is. The police cornered him and jumped into the river. 16. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, huh. waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's, that's the wild. story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. 189.16. I like that one because it's so rushed. Look, we're dead. So we're screwed because it sounds like we're screwed. Oh, fuck. We're not My screwed. mic's been on the whole Things time. Just Oops. Aren't great right now. <sighs> At least Oops. we got the word out, I guess. My what mic's kind of been on. What listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? Okay. 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. We only have 35 people listening to this fucking station. 35? We o only 35 people? Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, huh. yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population yeah. of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. Huh. How many did you get before? You know. Huh. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Five million, million people. Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. Oh, that's a laugh. Yeah. That's a lot. I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Okay, you got it. Time to turn the music off. Shut the fuck up. I do the show my way, Peggy. But fine, just as once, I'll turn the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything uh, all right? Go ahead and tell us what's going on. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? 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 Okay. What's your name and why are you calling in? Oh my god, it's no him, the day. whistling man. Do you accept uh, requests? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love this to see. This is unhinged, just wild. Uh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us? Us? I, I mean, me. 
Oh, okay. We want cheese dusted pretzels. Oh, okay. I, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Uh, okay. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Not yet. I want to make a deal with him. Deal with him. Uh, wait, I'm not done. We also want a mega gold. Right, 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 right. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gold behind the gas station. Yep. You got it. Okay. Whistling man. Uh, a wise choice. All right, everyone. It looks like I'm going to be taking a trip on down to the gas station. Needless Thanks for say, listening. Be right back. I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, People are being really murdered, really killed out there. All of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Oh, yeah. This one goes out to you. Where the f fuck have I been throwing all of the discs? Here we go. Uh, that's David Scopa. They're already bored of that one. Get that one the fuck out of here. Uh, sorry, one more second, everyone. Just so you know that's not, like, the radio didn't go down. I'll just keep hitting the mic every once in a while until I'm ready. Uh, we're gonna be playing... Uh, we're gonna be playing The Flow. Crying for help. Just like the victims of The Whistler are likely crying for help right now and being drowned out by this good, good radio station. Peggy, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. Damn. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. I think it's kind of no fucking funny. That our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie. No, that. That's real. Nah, nah, nah. Christ. Let's no, 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 no. It we was still fucking have a show funny, to though, do. Peggy. We already have another caller on the line. All right. When Let's am I allowed this. to just play music? You know? Hello? Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Fucking God damn it. Hello? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. This is exactly I what I was worried was going to happen. Awake. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's so, your anyways, name? how's it going? What's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. And, uh. I'm sorry, Sandra, but the sheriff is dead. We're trying to get help in from Henderson now. Yep. What? I don't know if you've been listening, but it's pretty bad. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me. Oh, my God. Oh my, oh my god. It's actually happening. Bad night to go out for a run. I'm sorry, but you really picked a bad night to go out for a run. I know that now, baby. That's why I jazz ran back to my car. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least, so I've got a place to hide. But okay. I can't get moving. All right. Uh, is there any more? Uh, sounds like you lost him. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, what if I just beef it? <laughs> what if I just really phone it in as Forrest for this playthrough, dude? What if I just get all these people in this town killed? <laughs> Look, they said to sacrifice one to the Whistler, and it's good fucking radio. You lost Sounds him. Sounds like you lost him. I think you'll be fine. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. <gasps> Wait, 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 I don't... Oh. Uh, it helped. I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Okay. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. Mechanic and savior. Everyone's gonna be fine. The record spins, folks. 
This one goes out to you, Sandra. This one, Sandra? This one goes out to you. What is this? How do I use this tape? Hang on. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. Oh, fuck! A devout Christian and a proud patriot. <laughs> this isn't Teddy gonna Gallows land Jr. good. Is Gallows Creek. Like his father. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Eject, 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 eject. station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yep. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once and they got really sweaty and defensive. Sweaty? Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'm heading down the hall outside of the uh, radio room so I can look for a way to hotwire a car. I will be right back. Until then, you're going to be listening to... 189.16. Fucking goddamn it, this sucks. This fucking sucks. What if I just quit? What if I quit and go home right now? What if I quit? Maybe I should quit. Yo, Peggy? What? Frankie, what? Are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> okay. I'm not getting in there tonight. God fucking damn it. Treasure? Is there like loot to get in this game? This is the- oh, wait, hang on. Oh. Wait, no. This is the ladies' room. What the hell? Scream. Look, I'm just checking to make sure there's no whistlers anywhere, chat. We all know none of us want to get whistled. Pervert. Creep. Guys, Peggy just confirmed that they're not leaving their fucking room all night. Alright, I'm making sure there's no goddamn whistler in here. What was that sound? What the? Hello? Peggy, what the fuck? What the fuck you missed a little, uh, there, Peggy? Um... So many locked doors, so few keys. Where the fuck is- where the hell is the thing I'm looking for? Ah! Okay. What the? Do you all hear that? Should I grab like a weapon? Is that like wise? Should I grab like a- some kind of weapon? Like these skizzers? Like a fire extinguisher? Where the hell is the thing I'm looking for? I, they didn't really tell me. They just said to go back here and look for like some kind of car shit. But I don't... Oh. Is that anything? That's nothing. Is that anything? That's nothing either. Is it this? What the fuck did they want me to get? Peggy? <laughs> Peggy? I might have forgotten what I was coming over here to get because I got really distracted. I think you pissed all over the floor of the bathroom. I I don't want to say I was checking the bathrooms like for the the serial killer, but like I there was like a massive puddle in there and I just I got distracted. Uh, I think I, I'm just going to grab like one of the magazines I saw and just come back. the hell is that magazine? I just had like a car magazine. I feel like that was the one I needed. Did I lose it? Did I fuck up? Oh, there it is. Full color nuts and bolts action. This has gotta be the one. 
Hi, Taggy, I'm back. Did you find anything? Uh... <laughs> I'm done looking. I'm done looking. Let's just get on with the call. Let's fucking sure do it. Yeah, let's Where'd it go? Where'd the, where'd the magazine sure? go? Wait, 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 I had it right here, where'd it go? What? What? Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I'll be right back. No, 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 no! Okay, chat, I just have to channel the only thing I ever learned from being a professional streamer, and it's making it up as I go. All right, I'm gonna wing it. Here we go. I'm just gonna wing it and save their life. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <sighs> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Oh my fucking God. Okay, so, uh, Sandra. <coughs> Sandra. What I'm... Oh my god. Sandra, just one second, please. I just need to check underneath the sofa. It's kind of... Must have fucking slid underneath there or something. Aw, oh, fuck. Sandra, just one minute. Peggy! Peggy! I need you to go into the back room and get the fucking... Oh my god. All right, y'all. What I'm gonna need you to do is hit the steering wheel with the hammer. Hit the steering wheel with the hammer. Really? That seems pretty dumb. But if you say so. Oh my God! He's looking at the car now. Yeah, you got it. Uh, unscrew the whole steering column. <laughs> unscrew the steering column. All right. One, two, one, two. How's it going? Just do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. I got you. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Okay, Sandra. So what I'm going to need you to do... <clears throat> All right, Sandra, give me one second, and then we're going to tell you exactly what you need to do. I just, I have an ad I have to run. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Damn like man. his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, right. improve infrastructure, <laughs> and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. Damn right. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. Yep. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. Damn, that really brings a tear to my eye. 
Anyway, Sandra, what I'm going to I'm going to need you to do is strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Huh? You were supposed to die. All right. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Strip the purple wire and twist it onto the exposed cable. Next. Strip the purple wire and twist onto the exposed cable. Well, you're a lifesaver. Yep. Oh, wait until my jazzer friends hear about this one. I'll just strip that wire and... Ah! No! Oh! 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 That was gruesome. Anyways. Oh, no. Uh, gonna be honest. Um, I was kind of just, uh, cause I didn't know, I uh, didn't know where the fucking guide was to, um, uh, do the car thing. So I was kind of giving them a little bit of a prank. But, um, you know, it seems like they had fun doing it. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about spreading positivity and, you know, living your best life. And I think we can all agree that um Sandra's in a better place now 189.16 Anyways, this is uh the flow crying for help much like Sandra was just doing before they were violently electrocuted in their car I'm sorry Sandra, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. That poor woman. <sighs> Folks Gallows Creek just lost one of its own. Everyone, please stay home. <sighs> stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned. This next track is dedicated to Sandra. Taken too soon. Can we all have a moment of silence for Sandra, ladies and gentlemen? Just one moment. Here on the screen. 189.16. We all know Sandra's in a better place now, going to heaven. Come Amen. On, Jesus Forrest, Christ. Put some music on already. We're gonna be putting on uh, one of my favorite tracks when I'm in a dark place, and I just don't know what to do. The word. By Smoot. Right after these uh, messages. Hmm. What song should I play? The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! Right after this here song, I'm about to play for Sandra. Amen. I still can't believe this is happening. People fucking died on my watch today, Peggy. Like and it was Creek good goddamn radio. radio. And I think that's one thing we really need what to fucking mean? lock in on. Gallows Creek is a miserable place to Yeah, live. this place fucking sucks. Really? Miserable? It's miserable. It's miserable. Peggy. Peggy. It's a sad place. And, like, three people have been killed tonight. Two of them on my watch as a direct result of my actions. That's right, Peggy. Miserable. It's a sad place on earth. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Stab, stab happy. happy. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Peggy! People are dead! They've been killed, murdered! Two in one night, yes! One of them wasn't actually murdered. They were clowned on by me. But come on, one person got their throat freaking slit. You don't notice the stink after a while. After a while, you don't even notice the smell? I guess that's nice. Smell? What the? There's no smell. <laughs> You've lived here Professional whole life, gaslighter you forest, dude. Nice this is out. wild. Anyway, <laughs> this place stinky the because it smells like dead bodies, Peggy. You smell awful, to. too. Me, too. 
Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. What the? Oh, it's not even been one hour into my shift. That might be the worst news I've Color gotten all day. Line one. So we've just been playing this song on loop for hours? Or like for like 40 minutes? All right, well. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a caller on we line. Have a call waiting. I, all right, thank you, Peggy. Uh, can you stay in your goddamn lane? Uh, and quiet it down while I talk, uh, while I get the caller in here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new caller on line one. What you were just listening to was The Word by Smooth here on 189.16. I suppose I should take this call. Evening, caller. You got Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Brian. Brian from Brian's P P Pizza. Um, hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say? about what's happening. Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. It's a damn shame. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Yep. It's just terrible. And where anyway, is Ponty's uh, Pizza? I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Just a little something to look forward to huh? when all this blows over. Wow. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Wow. That's really good of you. Thanks, Brian. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Brian, Sounds this great, really does mean a lot. Let me tell you. The pizza we have is to die for. Okay. Oh, 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 no, yeah. No, no, no. Poor choice of words tonight. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great, Brian. Another moment of silence for the two lost souls passing on to heaven. Thankfully, uh, they're going to that we. They're going to a good place, all right, Brian? They're going to be just fine. They're going to be just fine. Uh, because, you know, right before they went out, right before they moved on, they decided to call into the scream. 189.16. The scream. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, that didn't come out great. Uh, don't worry about hey, it. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Don't forget. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Hey, are you fucking now, sure? A word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, just give me one second. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have some actual paid advertising to uh, send your way. I'm sorry the timing's really bad considering what just happened. But, uh, you know, we gotta pay the bill somehow on the screen. Uh, here we go. Done. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! It's back, baby! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Legends. They got everything. Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons. We love praying. Horseshoes, hayride, hay toss. Hey, you there. Safe donkeys and ponies. Apple bob and firearms. They got Jesus Christ going to this one. Seats, bitten, sand, licking, cracker, cranning, and cat shop. 
Man, fake tattoo, face paint, and puppets, pet and zoo, amazing, maze, maze, square dance, and story swapping, mm -hmm, spelling mm -hmm. bee, quilt and yep. bee, and sewing circle, yep. pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog uh -huh. eating contest, flower contest, and of course our yep. famous gourd measure off. As we all the know and love. To you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, Thank you, Linda. by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Goddamn shame see what happened why it's here. world famous. It's a highlight around here for Goddamn us. Goddamn shame what happened oh, to God rest his soul. I'm sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. And ladies and gentlemen, Let's if I have to be honest, that KFAM mug is one you. of the densest pieces of shit I've ever seen. Really one of the best defenses you could have against uh, the Whistler. <laughs> this is the sound that thing makes when it hits the ground. Hey, big shot. Hear that Hit shit? The button and take the call. Wild. Anyways, we're getting another call from uh, what looks to be the 911 line here on the screen. The screen. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I can't talk. Office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Forrest Maurice? Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. Leslie's dead. God, another... Or dying. I am the captain now. I am 911. I am the captain now. You are talking to me. Now. You talk to me. I am 911, at least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews, Sheriff Matthews is, dead. is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous. Source. We're actually live right now. Sir? <laughs> We're live on air. We're live on the air? Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. Yep. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Wait, what? <laughs> Team. Maurice. Yeah, Maurice, you need to get the fuck out of there. This punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye Maurice? when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Maurice? I don't think it's a teenager, Maurice. I think it's a whistler. Here on the screen. 189.16. I don't think it's a teen. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling That's man. the real of one. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't Dude, Maurice is fucking dead. I don't know what to do. Ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Okay. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. Okay. We got security cameras all around the building. Okay. You can watch them on any TV set here. Okay. And there's a set in the boardroom. Uh, think you can take the whistling man? Think you might be up for fighting the whistling man? Son! I am 55 years old. If this freak killed Sheriff Matthews, <laughs> I don't like my chances. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Maurice, do you want a gun? I Are you sure packing? Hope so, kid. You got a piece? Whoa. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs Damn, are Damn, that's out. rough. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those A cabinets. few minutes? We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here Climb is... over it! Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? 
They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? Oh, you're serious. In different rooms, <laughs> with different extensions. Oh, I thought you were joking. You're serious? So call one of them. Wait, Peggy, Draw the you're serious? Away. And buy Marie's time and get an exclusive interview with the killer here on... 189.16. That's pretty big stuff. Peggy, I think we do it. And get an exclusive interview with the killer. That could be interesting. No, I mean we just make a distraction. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me Yeah, but yet. he will be soon. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I oh, sorry, I meant to, to figure out. laugh. Not, not, not yay. You sorry. realize how stupid uh. that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Yeah? Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. Okay. All delivered while the killer is en route. Okay. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. All right. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be playing more of The Word from Smooth. On the screen. Yeah. You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. Aw, oh, fuck. Hang on. We're stopping the music, everyone. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Maurice, I don't know where our fax machine is. How do you know our fax machine number? That was fast. How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, where's the fax Tell machine? me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. All right, Peggy. And everyone listening, I'm okay. going to be going to find that fax go machine. So go ahead and listen to hall. some late night lurkers, if you dare. Easy. That's the name of the uh, song. That's not me daring you to listen. That's just the name of the song. Just so you know. 189.16. Be right back. Try not to get murdered by no serial killer. All right, this time I'm not going to throw it away. That one lady died because of me, but Maurice is going to be fine. This must be it. Wow. Damn. This is the real deal. I need key to get in there. Hang on. Hang on. One sec. Hang on one second. There we go. No, 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 no. We're going to save him. We're going to save him. It's going to be fine. We're not losing this one. Hey, Peggy, I'm back. Hey, did you get the fax? Yeah. <laughs> I lost it. I lost it. How did you lose it? The fax machine is just down the hall. Do you, um, I mean, do you think we could get him to send it again? I'm sure he'll be more than accommodating. Yeah. I like sarcastic. Yeah, things. yeah, yeah. I Make him say. send it again. <laughs> okay, Forrest, shut the music off. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have him send it to me Mr. again. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Can you send it again? Must have gotten Shit. lost in the mail. Fine. Just hurry. It's getting close. <laughs> yeah, don't oh, worry. Now. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're definitely right going to get it this time. 189.16. Mr. Russell? You, uh... You're Mr. Still Russell? Us? Are you reading me? You get my facts? Yeah, it's just, um, 
there's some kind of schmutz all over it, and I think it may be you, uh, maybe you need to send it one more time, Mr. Russell. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Russell, it didn't show up in the fax machine. Can you send it again? Forrest. You're trying to get me killed, aren't you? <laughs> I hope all your listeners realize that... Maurice? Maurice? Damn it. Never thought Maurice? I'd go like this. Maurice? Maurice? Gallows Creek, here's a last word from me. It sucks! The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry you guys had to hear that. We're gonna run the ad again. Here on Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, the scream. Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cards, like Corn Dogs, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. And you know, we're going to be doing a lot of praying today. We're sorry for your loss. For the Russells. Poor guy. I mean, he was an ass. Yo, Peggy, we're on air. no way to go. Amen. Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, thank uh, you for carrying these souls to heaven. Amen. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. It's all for the views, baby. Folks, we'll be back soon. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if we'll be back have soon. Any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. Today we're going to be in honor of Maurice getting freaking stabbed by the Whistler in a violent way right on the hot mic. Uh, we are going to be playing Stab in the Twilight uh, by uh, Knife and Ease. So uh, give this one a listen. It's one of my favorite tracks. Hey, once again, play something. Once again, a moment of silence for Maurice. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family, whom he has left behind. Peggy, I really feel like I fumbled this one. Well, this is gonna be a Peggy, I feel way. like I fucked oh, up. Really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're gonna interview me. Are you sure about that? Peggy, I yeah, kinda I thought it was care. funny to tell him so I didn't get the faxes. Like like a week now. But You're um still all shrouded in mystery. Honestly. Oh, well what do you wanna know? Alright. Shoot, what do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. No. No, that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Damn! Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Holy crap, two of these are fucking wild. You're sorry? Why? Did you fucking do it? Did you kill him? Are you the serial killer? <laughs> Don't be sorry, I'm not. <sighs> Did you fucking do it? Did you kill my family? You're sorry, why? Did you do it? Of course not, I only- I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You are. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. How could you know that? How could you how could you know how my folks went? What a coincidence. Huh. What a coincidence. Yeah. My dad walked out when did, I was about to Did you murder them? Did you kill them? Been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. I really shouldn't be using the anyway, laugh track right Mr. now. Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. And our thoughts and prayers are with them. Yeah, sorry. I was just. And our thoughts and prayers are with them. It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about it. And our thoughts and prayers are with them always. Amen. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. 
I not anymore. Have a sister, but I haven't seen her since <laughs> before my dad. It's good radio. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Huh? Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? You sure oh. you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Gee, thanks, Peggy. <laughs> Gee, thanks. That's Peggy. really cool. Thanks. Really epic. Hey, Peggy, do you the want me to turn up the, the fucking door. like? You want me to turn on the next ad really fucking loud so when I'm getting murdered, uh, they won't be able to okay. hear it? Down to the first floor, then check the door. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I've just been told by Peggy that I have to go check out the knock on the door we just got uh, inside the building. So I'm going to go ahead and swing on over there and take a look at that. Now, remember, if you hear anything, it's probably because I freaking died. I'm going to leave the mic gain up really high here on 189.16. That's what my scream's going to sound like, except way manlier. All right, I'm going to leave you guys with the jams of... Stab in the twilight, running again, in memory of Maurice. Amen. Someone pissed all over- Wait, no, that's just water. Was this always here? Was this always here? Wait a minute, what the hell's going on? Second floor stairway. That's not opening. This is how we win. This is how we beat the serial killer. Come get me now, idiot. Wait, where'd the key go? I think I just left the keys on the ground. <laughs> oh, Peggy's gonna be so fucking mad. <laughs> what the fuck, where'd they go? Peggy? Peggy! Peggy, I think I lost the keys. Peggy, I picked up a, a mouse trap and I think I dropped the keys. Maybe they're just in my inventory. Oh yeah, they're unlocked. Huh. A tape play on air. Okay. Well, also, give me one more second. I'm just going to go ahead and set up a couple more of my uh, devious little traps and tricks. Don't really want to get owned, you see. That's actually very devious, dude. If I fucking was walking up these stairs, I'd just see that cheese, dude. And I'd be like, mmm, yummy, yummy in my tummy. And I'd just fucking grab that shit like it was fucking nothing. So we do two of those, and that's double the mmm, 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 I'd fucking fall for it. God, we live in fucking squalor. We are goddamn nasty. Holy heck. Need the key. Just checking for serial killers. Yo! The amazing maze maze! Adult admission! Huge, man. Absolutely huge. This is a fucking huge W. This is great. Alright. Now that I can leave, I'm just gonna go home. I think I'm just gonna leave Peggy here. I don't think I want to stay. That is a dense ticket. I'll leave that down here. Oh! Almost got me! And you know, that's how you know it's good. That's how you know it's good. Why the fuck is this out here? Wait a minute. Why the fuck is there acoustic paneling in the lobby? Huh. All right, hey Peggy, I'm back. Hello everyone, this is Forrest Dash. Uh, I found a VH, uh, sorry, a cassette tape 
outside the uh station and it says here that uh it says play me on air so without any real vetting or checking what's on it i think i'm gonna play it on air it can't be worse than anything else we've played tonight because i'm pretty sure two people got killed on the microphone so this will be pretty much the same kind of deal so if you've been uh you know listening up until now and not having any problems, you probably won't have a problem now. But either way, I'm going to take it over to Peggy. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? Uh -huh. No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Put it on, I guess. Let's see what it is. Okay. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here on. <laughs> Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'll I'm going to enjoy this. Wow. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? 16. I. Oh, Forrest. We're yeah? still on air. Say something. Uh, sorry about that ad, people. That, uh, uh <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. There's no way the killer got from the newspaper to here so quick. I know. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Okay, we have we then spent about 20 minutes um, just kind of sitting there. And now we're back. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I wanted the one where the person screams in a really horrible way to kind of like emphasize how bad it is right now, ladies and gentlemen. So let me just do that one more time. Oh shit, that was the wrong one. I meant this one. 189.60. Time for some music. And tonight we're going to be listening to one of my favorite tracks. One of, my, one of the favorite tracks of many of the people who live in this here beautiful town of ours. Storm Riders. Because you know, at the end of the day right now, we're all riding that. Riding that real nasty wave in this here storm. Underneath, uh, underneath that horrible, horrible lightning. And, uh, I used to have a guy put the music on. Shut the fuck up, Forrest. I'm doing my thing. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Peggy, I don't know. Is yours gonna say psycho shit too? Cause like last time I did that, I got in a lot of trouble, and it feels like pretty fucked up that you're gonna now do the same thing. All right. Play me ASAP off air. I'm afraid I can't do that, Peggy. I'm afraid that part I can't do, Peggy. Everything goes on air. Or try your call again. <laughs> Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. Hi, Gina. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. Okay. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably right. never will again. Okay. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. All right. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but oh. Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest, mate, you all right? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. Roddy! But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. Hell I yeah, Roddy. Final Breath is my best work yet. That's one of my best friends right there. I like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Yeah, but Gina... Yeah. It's Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. 
Yeah, but, yeah, but Gina, like, four people have been killed today, and, like, I don't know if that's the kind of energy you want your song Last Breath to be playing on. That's just kind of like, I'm kind of watching out for my buddy Roddy right now. It just feels like we might as well be playing a song that's called Psycho Murderer on the day when a psycho murderer kills a bunch of people. It just doesn't feel right, you know? I used to be a big deal. I used to be a big deal, Peggy. I knew lots of people. I love Brody. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. You know, honestly, a lot of Roddy's oh songs when brought into the context of a Roddy serial Center. killer don't really sound I all that good like the titles. He sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to K-Fan, not to me. Huh. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Peggy, I, I don't want to go back down to reception. They're I mean, going to well, throw a brick through the glass of the, the front door and kill me. Nice easy track is any indication? Folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I, I don't want to get track, killed, actually. Peggy. Let's go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Peggy, come on. Gina's not going to fucking do that because Roddy's my boy. Remember that part where I tricked Maurice into fucking faxing me five copies of that fucking shit? And then I lost- Oh my god, you think I can still see the fucking magazine back there? Chad, what if I see the magazine back there? How, how am I gonna handle that? I can't. Okay, I can't see the magazine, that's good. I would've felt pretty bad if I could see the magazine for that fucking car. Hang on, I actually want to check if the others- if they actually was vaxxed. Damn. Let's get that photocopied. Beep. Wild. Alright. Dude, what is this- what does this mean? You know, like, is this a bucket for- what is this? Well, like, this is- I'm- I'm getting such mixed messages, like, what is this? Is that garbage juice? How the hell did- the How the hell did the truck magazine get downstairs? Chad, are we sure I lost it, or- is there a chance that maybe someone took it? Well, I don't need it anymore. <clears throat> no, sir. Where the hell is that song? What the? Yo, is that the Amaze Maze? Is that the Maze Maze? Lock. For now. Where the f Fuck is this? It's supposed to be down here, right? Where the hell is my song? Dude, whoever asks me to guide them through the maze maze is fucking dead. They are dead. Good job on the new job. Now, how do I rotate things? Genie, good luck. I'm so proud of you. Make lots of friends and work hard. Lots of love. Mom. Who the hell's Genie? I don't know who that is. Where the fuck is his song? Peggy? Peggy, if you can hear me, I don't know where the song is. Oh, finished. here it is. Final <clears throat> breath. My tiny selection grows. Oh. I lost it. I picked it up and I lost it, which means it's in my inventory, is what that actually means. I lost it, so it must be- Oh! Not gonna happen. But that is gonna totally get the fucking serial killer when they came up this fucking set of stairs. They're gonna get their freaking toes cut off, and then they're gonna flop down the stairs and smack their head right on the ground. And then they're dead. Forever. Huh? What? Oh. 
slow. Probably safer to put it here anyways. Kind of like a saw trap, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you got past those two. That's cute. Good luck getting past this one. Yep, that's huge. What's up, Peggy? Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Gallows Creek. <clears throat> I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, yep. is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Hang on, I gotta find it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Final Breath, Roddy Snatcher. Oh fuck. Sorry, I promised Rowdy when I played this back on my old radio station, folks, that I would make sure to dunk it and sink it. And I don't really know what that means, but I'm gonna i I'm trying to dunk it and sink it here. So um give me a minute. Here on 189.16. Fuck! Are you kidding me? Can I not do it like that? I don't think I can actually like do this. Sorry, Peggy, just one more second. Oh, yeah, I'm overshooting really hard. I'm overshooting pretty fucking hard, guys. I'm gonna aim lower. Dude! Get that crap out of the way. Hang on. Bro, hang on. I'm getting close. Everyone stop, like, not supporting me. I'm getting really close, actually. Oh, what the fuck? I don't think it's possible. I don't think you can actually do it. I don't think you can do it. I think that one was like on it that did and it didn't do it. So I don't think I can All right, fine. This is uh, all right, fine. This is Roddy Snatcher's final breath Wow God, Roddy's the best. He hasn't even said anything yet. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. How long was that song? And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh. oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Yeah, I hope so too, here on. You're on, uh, wait, hang on, what's the number? Peggy, what's the number of our fucking, hang on, I'll just ask the thing. The lines let off. I need to take the but call. Did none of these say the number? 189.16. You're on 189, The Scream. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is... Murphy! What's up, Murphy? Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Happy fucking birthday, happy birthday, Fernando. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. Damn right, brother. I'm happy, happy for you. How to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Damn right. Uh, happy birthday, Happy birthday, Fernando. Fernando. Hope you don't get killed by the whistler. <laughs> Here on 189.16. I mean, it's not that happy today. Weird night to celebrate, but happy. I can't do this. This, this is a three year old. Happy birthday, Fernando. Happy fucking birthday, Fernando. Now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so called killer. Tell him. You think you're tough, huh? Tell him. Whoa. A true warrior at the gallows waste disposal Whoa. plant. Guess what? Mer 
No, I'm gonna here we no 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 I'm gonna back this guy up. Murphy's gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this game right here with the secret ending where I escalate with Murphy and we send this guy to Murphy and Murphy kills him and throws him into the sewage like disposal plant. Here we fucking go. Are you gonna kick his ass, Murphy? God damn right! I'm gonna kick his ass! Damn right, I Murphy! All the tapes and Master Robbins told your series. Hell yeah! Yes! You just let loose the junkyard dog. The junkyard dog, he rises again. Oh, no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed. Murphy's Murphy. gonna be fine. He He's the junkyard the dog. Our, our hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. I feel like we have to play this one. Which one is this? Hang on. I don't know what what's in there right now. Wait, what is this one? You need to play a commercial cassette. Straight to voice. Oh, I'm not supposed to play that one on air. Sorry, folks. Uh, that was um, that was nothing. Not supposed to be played on air. That was a little mix up. Oops. Get rid of that one. Uh, Harvest Festival. No, I don't need that one either. Where's the one? We have one that's like for the dojo. Where did I fucking throw that shit? Oh, here we go. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Yes. Do you want to double your power? Yes. Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? For damn my life, then man! Step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate. Yes. And receive direct by video yes. warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. Yes! I, the discipline I of love it, dude. The I want to be just Vegeta, like that for only 25 dollars The wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Yes! Call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. I'm calling. I'm calling. Listen, Chad, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Talk what you want about Master Robbie. All right, Kung Fu Master. Training us all how to be conquerors in our own way. But there might only... Listen, all right? There's fucking, there, there's so many people on the planet and not one knows how to channel a key blast. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. If Master Robbie's the one that can actually teach me how to blast Kung Fu Ray and vaporize someone, like, then I feel like I'm, it's a, it's not, I'm, it's a disservice to myself not to learn how to do that and give it a chance for only $25. For only $25. You know? How often do you... Listen, all right? They're offering some pretty good shit here. How often does someone straight up in front of your face offer to double your power? This isn't like a, oh, you might get stronger. It's an offer to, on the fucking board, double your power. Double your power. Zero times two is zero, tomato. Never forget the element of surprise. Never fucking forget the element of surprise. All right, even when you don't have any power, you have the fucking element of surprise, okay? You guys just don't understand anything about anything. Master Robbie took you down. If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes, the tornado technique and karate lovemaking. All right. All right, Master Robbie. I mean, all that, dude, all that, and I get to double my power. <laughs> Damn, Master Robbie. Damn, Master Robbie, doubling my power. I mean, honestly, chat, come on. Give him a break. It's pretty badass. Call today. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Yeah. Don't pretend like you're not interested. 
I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making They're sure glossing they over the part where you talked about uh, doubling your power! Uh, <laughs> Is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. One, eight, wow, nine, what a deal. 16. Only twenty four ninety nine, And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. True. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. We got a caller. You know what to do. Peggy, do you think this one's going to be a fun guy like Murphy uh, battling like the Whistler? Do you think it's going to be someone like really battling the Whistler but also losing? Because I just don't know. I just don't know how much more energy I have for that kind of dynamic. Like, I don't really want someone to open the microphone and start whistling. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream. Hi. Forest. Nash. Please don't be killed. God damn it. Ah, uh, hello? 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 Who is this? Are you okay? Hello? Hello. Are, are you still with us? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. Oh my god. He's coming for me? Jesus. Oh my god. Listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. Yeah, yeah, our track record is 0 for 3, but so don't worry, we got you. you. Saved them or? Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Yeah, you're good. You can tell me your name. You're gonna be Call fine. Up. I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Okay. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Yep. Please don't let me die. We're Hello. not gonna let you Just die. Calm down. <laughs> Tell me where you are right now. We're not letting you die. You're I, gonna make it. I'm... Oh, God. Uh, call a neighbor. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. Okay. You by a frat house. Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Okay. Uncovered in beer cans. All right. Wasted as well. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I can't. Any uh, idea yes. might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Well, let's see here. The takeout. Oh. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Uh, okay, Virginia. Well, um, don't be a freaking child and grow up for a fucking second. This is actually bafflingly dumb the way you're acting. Don't be a child. This is life or death. I can't do this. Well, then unfortunately, I don't know why you called. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up while we try to figure out what takeout to order. Here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, I think we all know that the one song that might finally give Virginia some confidence to uh, deal with this horrible, horrible nightmare they are currently found finding themselves in is one of my favorite tracks, one of the tracks that I grew up listening to when I was just a wee lad. Uh, uh, this Play one's for you. Forest. I know, Peggy. This one's for you, Virginia. The hang-ups. Much like you just ha hung up on me while I was trying to fucking help you with some of my free time I had in the middle of doing my goddamn job tonight. Go fuck yourself. Here on... 189.16. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place. Okay. free. And you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Good fucking name. Oh, That's such a good course, name. Pizza. That's it, I think. Okay. Let's call. All right. We'll call each place and ask Chalupa Cabras? That's not going to work. Dude, that is like the best name for a fucking place I've ever heard of. There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from. Okay. Call the takeout, pretending to be from the frat. All right. Place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. I hate this town. Yeah. You know, it's things like this that make me. No, yeah, this no, town. this sucks. Complain after you save her, Forrest. 
Yeah, I'm definitely saving this one. Don't room. worry, we're gonna Check save her. Chat. Anything food related. Chat. Maybe the kitchen downstairs. <laughs> Don't You'll need worry. A key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks, Peggy. I'm really glad that I have to do everything yeah, while also being start. the guy on the microphone doing the show. Well, make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy. No, it's fine. She just doesn't want to go outside right? because they Chad literally Brad don't have or, textures uh, and aren't a human. They're just like a fucking mannequin. I just have to look around. All right, be right back, Peggy. All right, I'm heading over to staff area, Chad. Let's see if I can fucking figure out what's going on. Let's see if the mouse traps have been activated. Hello? Is there anyone out of there? If you're down there, why don't you fucking say something already? God, if there was a murderer in here, even they couldn't pass up the maze maze admission ticket. I've been leaving that there to tell me if they've walked in, because anyone with a fucking brain would pick that shit up and take it with them. Are you kidding me? Maze maze is like the biggest thing we do all year. What the? Get that, get that out of my fucking face! Horrid creatures. Terrible pesky bees. In my eyes. Oh, there's more of the... Oh? Who's over there? Say something already. Why don't I leave? So many locked doors, so few keys. This is- Dude! One! No, it fucking isn't. Two! Safety hazard. This place should be closed. If I can't use the exit door, this place should be fucking closed. I need a key to get in there. No, you don't, Forrest. No, you don't. Not a single part of this lock is locked. That's not padlocked. The lock's undone on both sides, motherfucker. Let me in. All right, fine. Locked for now. How many people have been pissing in the fucking halls? Dude, every one of these fu like, what is this? Locked tight. What is this? There's just piss everywhere. Bim bam, zap the zorp away. I mean, honestly, it's a good, it's a good product. It's a good product. Dude, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that you don't need fucking actually eight wet floor signs for a building like this, but somehow we have one. Somehow we have that many, and somehow half of them are in use for literal giant room-wide piss stains, and it's baffling. It's scary. It's happened here, too. Why is it yellow? Why is it yellow? Every one of, that one of these has been a clear liquid. They're all yellow. There's not just a serial killer on the loose, there's an actual serial pisser somewhere in this building just fucking like doing their nasty deed everywhere. What am I even doing down here? Oh my god, and they've been eating the wiring. Holy shit. Oh. I actually got excited for a second. All right, what am I doing now? I was about, I was supposed to find like a menu so I could order us food. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh, interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Huh, well, I don't know how much that helps me right now. Although it does have their number. So that's one of them, right? We need like all the numbers for the different 
takeout places. Nothing's down there at all. Nothing else over there. Is there something? That's nothing. Can't even read that. Some bullshit. Some bullshit. Some bullshit. Bullshit. Dude, I'm gonna have to go back up to Peggy and be like, what am I supposed to do again? Because I keep getting distracted by all of the other funny bullshit in this game constantly. I'm gonna go back up there and awkwardly ask what I'm supposed to do, and they're gonna get so mad at me, they're gonna yell at me again. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, don't, you're never going to get me with something that simple. Never. Can you fax it again, Peggy? Hey, find anything useful? What am I looking Remind for? Remind me what I'm looking Help. for again. The frat house by Virginia has Help. been ordering takeout all night. We've got to figure out who they've been ordering from. Then place an order for the frat house with a note to call the station. Okay, but how do I figure out who they called? We need to think like frat boys, Forrest. What would you order if you were a frat boy? Mmm, cheap food and cheap beer. Fuck. Exactly. I've already got Use it. Use your frat boy instincts to guide you. Check Brad's desk in the office. He's our food critic, so his desk is your best bet for food-related info. What? And maybe the kitchen downstairs. See what you find. I mean, it's Ponty's. Right? I don't need the... Where the fuck is Brad? I'm gonna go check Brad, but I'm pretty sure we have it. And already had it sorted. And I just didn't realize. How do I know which one of these desks is Brad's? Brad? Grilling spree. I better see what's on this tape. Is this Brad's? Chalupa Cabra. Hmm. For the hundredth time, it's an uh, audio medium. People won't get its egg in excellent, idiot. We can all agree that the flavor profiles of, hang on, of Chalupa Cabra are the best in town. Despite being a pricey option and offering no deals, the El Diablo Burrito is the best mouthfeel, has the best mouthfeel, and those huevos rancheros are just Excellent. Can I be honest? I don't like it whenever anyone describes food as having good mouthfeel. I just don't really like that. I, I actually think that's like the worst. Dear Bradley Carter, please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. We've pinned our latest offers and deals on the outside of the box if you want to read them out on air. Grilling Spree's new offer is terrible, and we think you should read our advert instead. P.S. A connoisseur like you needs to try our three-hour slow-roasted pizza. Much love, Ponty's Pizza. Hey, I ate the garlic bread. Much like your show, it was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out, though. It's Ponty. It's Ponty. They already fucking set it up in the game because he called earlier. It's fucking Ponty. We're gonna get- we're gonna call Ponty. This dude, it, it's Ponty. We'll check this tape, but it's probably Ponty. Plus, I kind of want to hang out with that nasty, slow-roasted pizza. <laughs> Three hours cooking in the oven. Hell yeah. There's a tape in this, isn't there? Damn it! One second. Hey, hey, hey. Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, oh no. We're out of beer. No. What am I gonna do? No. The party is going to be over. No. <laughs> the Grill Reaper. The Grilling Spree will give you a free six pack of beer if Dallas High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins. A free six pack? Holy Righteous. shit. You heard me. Six beers if Gallus High wins. Did they win? Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we. 
murder them. <laughs> Me too, Billy. Me too. Come on down to Grillingsburg. I'll call off 555-749-8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Yeah, but... A free six-pack? Huh. I wonder how well Gallo's High performed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling shut spree the, Peggy, is? Peggy, shut the fuck uh, up. You're, you're like distracting me. me. Spare ribs. Holy Christ. crap. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's cool for the Grill Reaper. Like, we all know it's a free six-pack. But... The, Ponty's isn't just one free beer. It's one free beer for every point that Gallows High wins by in Tuesday's big game with every order. So, hang on. I've been seeing newspapers sitting around. I think they do have the actual final score. So, I need to figure out if it's larger than six. I think I saw one in this room. Because I totally saw the newspaper with like a eight to something. So, I just want to see what that was. Oh my god, it's Ponty. Holy fucking shit. It's Ponty. We're making the call. They've been ordering pizza all night. Has Tomato even saved one life? Not until right now! Jeez, my office is a mess. Hey, find anything useful? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great! Are you ready to get back on the line? Yes. I am. Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest. What'll it be? Call Ponty's. Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Fucking hell, I love Ponty. One of my favorite guys Ponty's in the pizza world. Ponty's on the line. Hey, Ponty. Ponty's Pizza. May I take your order? Fretman calling. Fretman calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. Uh, may I take your order? Uh, yeah! Uh, can I have the- No, we can't do slow roast pizza. We need the fastest thing he has. Garlic bread. I need some garlic bread. Oh, I need the bread! Bre I need the bread, dude! I need the bread, dude! Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Yes, man! Got it! Yes! We'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans. Yes! Yes, oh, man! Yes! Just call them and let them know. We love and that. And now we wait. All right. We should put a song on. Hell yeah, Agreed. we're going to put a song on. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Yep, this, ladies and gentlemen, this one goes out to our delivery workers and Maurice and, I don't know, Linda or, like, Lindsay, whatever the fuck their name was, and, like, whatever that other person's name was. Everyone that's died tonight as a result of mom fuck-ups and mom mistakes. All right, it goes out to all of you. And, uh, Sandra, yes, yeah, Sandra. It goes out to all of you. I hope you're in a better place I now. I, I really do hope you're in a better place. It's just such a goddamn shame that instead of, like, you know, training at the dojo... You decide to spend your day fucking withering away, not becoming twice as powerful. Amen. Do you Dead air is a crime, wisdom? Forrest. Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only tw If only Sandra, <clears throat> Lin Li Linda, <clears throat> and Maurice had doubled their power, for the low, low price of a single installment of twenty-four ninety-nine plus shipping and handling, they could have defended themselves using Come the tornado. On, spin Shut the fuck up! Already. Using the tornado spin kick, and it would have been based as hell. Everyone knows this. Unfortunately, they're dead. Amen. Happy? I turned on the music. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? Chalupa no, Cabra. Wh where would you actually Chalupa eat? Chalupa Cabra. Oh, I mean, it's Chalupa Cabra. Equal. No, 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 wrong. 
It's Chalupa Copper! Sure, but if you had to pick one. All right, all right. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between Grilling Spree and Chalupa Coppers. I mean, it it's Chalupa Coppers. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I. Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Yeah, out. all right. Uh, who, uh, who dares call our world famous radio station on an evening like tonight? All right. Uh, here we go. When you're ready, shut the music off. Okay. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Fred Man Parker! Yo! Yo, dude! Calling, yes! <laughs> yes! Plunker! This is Plunker. Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And... Is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose. Classic Goose, but alas, nah, dude. This is an emergency, bro. Plunker, this is an emergency. I... Nice try, Goose. I may be drunk, but I'm no classic I, plunker. Listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brother's awaiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. We just need a second opinion. That's all. Norman the Barbarian. It's called fucking Norman of all people. We are fucked, chat. We are. fucked. Norman is known in the tri-state area for being the biggest party freak, all right, this place has ever seen. He's a party maniac, all right. There's a reason they call him the Barbarian, all right. He's a fucking, he's, he goes primal, dude. This dude's a psycho, okay. What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. What do you say? Yeah. So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Okay. Norman the Barbarian demands it. Yeah, I mean, I got the okay, flow right okay. here. I'll play the damn song. All right, here we go. Flow. Crying for help. Much like the lady oh, next shit. door in the background of this okay, call okay, just radio cried for help. You got my attention. What is it? I think, from what I just heard. Listen. You've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you. Just say no more. Dude, dude, yeah. my guy. He didn't say which neighbor's house. So what my guy has just done is weaponize a frat party to while a serial killer is also breaking into people's houses. Plunker and Norman the Barbarian and their entire fucking squad, like roving Vikings, raiding nearby towns. These guys are going to pour into the neighbors' houses and just just break shit. <laughs> Plunker, wait! Forrest, line two. Hello, you're Hello? live on 189.16, The Stream. Forrest. No, Virginia, that's oh, Plunker. It's, it's you, isn't it? Virginia, that's Plunker I, here I on. Goddamn hero, dude. I'm a goddamn Virginia. hero. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes, some wear sheets as toes. Hell yeah, dude. My streak has been ruined. Hey, Forrest, Someone lives. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Huh? Clive, I didn't talk. Huh? Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor huh? here at the station named Clive. Clive? But your guess is as good as mine. Peggy. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please Peggy. call in. It could save lives. 
In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Yes, and ideally at this point, if we save one more caller, that puts us at 50-50 on the record. Uh, and that's pretty cool, considering there's a lot of blood on my hands tonight. Hit the button. We have a caller. Hang on one fucking second. And this caller is on. 189.16. Ah! I really want to just get my own version of it. So hard to tell. Chat's like random. It's not always the same one. I don't have a button that's guaranteed to be the screen one. It's like a different one every time. See? It's different. None of these actually matter. Damn, man. I could have been a radio host, man. It would have been so easy. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all... Don't we all, brother. Don't we all. The killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Don't we all. Terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my uh -huh. small business. Yep. It's a safe family-friendly place. Yep. Good for you, friend. Good for you, friend. I'm glad you're keeping Good safe for you. and busy. Thank you. Oh, I'm really living the American dream. <laughs> Kid in my business. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. Wait a minute. What is it? Wait a minute. I'm starting to think, is this fucking pun? Hang on. Pecky, I'm gonna cut the microphones off the uh, radio for a second. Give me one sec. God damn it, it's really hard to turn this thing down sometimes. Fuck. Ponty, if this is you, all right, let me explain to you with sound effects what I'm gonna do to you, all right? Now you think really carefully if that's how you want this to go down, Ponty. All right. You think real carefully. What is your business anyway? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down. I get you some of the <laughs> You see no, no wisdom. Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only twenty four ninety nine? Then step into that. True. Honestly, you're right. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. He just keeps getting away with it, and it pisses me the fuck off. Like someone needs to cut. Someone needs to murder Ponty. Like Ponty has to get killed by the end of this, or he got away with it, and he actually monetized the deaths of like Better four people. They might need our help. All right, yeah, yeah, I know. It's just like. Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash. Here on host of one eighty nine point sixteen, the screen. The screen. Tonight's nine one one stand in. Hi, hello. Am I on air? Oh my sure, god, here we What's go, chat. And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze. Oh, you are, listening huh? Listening to your show. Looking up at the stars uh -huh. and waiting. In the middle of the maze? Her. In the dead of a night? Special lady coming out at 1 a.m.? Yeah. Waiting for a special Molly. lady named Molly, who's definitely real? journey together into the love labyrinth that's why i'm calling actually uh -huh. i thought she'd be here an hour ago you did and since i listened all night to how cool uh -huh. you play it i thought you were the perfect guy to ask okay should i call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see for real kid my guy it's 2 a.m listening all night you uh really you on your own me? man yes that's why i'm calling uh, <laughs> do I tell this guy to go home and save his life? 
or do I actively kill Eugene? It's hard. It's hard. Do I do I go for my 50-50 record? Or do I kill him? Do you believe in love? Huh. <sighs> I do. He's got to stay in wait. He's got to stay in wait. Ah, what the hell? Stay in wait. They're definitely Forrest, coming. That's a terrible idea. Shut the fuck up, Peggy. Eugene, please go home. Your parents must be worried sick. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh, Yikes, oh, Peggy. Geez. You're looking like a real yeah. idiot right now. Holy not. crap. Damn! I hear some rustling. Oh, that's got to be them. I guess she came after all. Molly, I'm in the middle. Yep. It'll take a little while to get here, but uh, thanks again, Forrest. No problem, man. It's been good talking. Damn. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life, not the worst. Hey, man. Just run through the walls. This is the easiest thing I could possibly tell you. Can't you just run through the walls? It's yeah. only corn. It wouldn't be the maze maze if you could just walk through walls, Forrest. She's right. I what do you this mean? What do you two mean? What they do to the walls? Call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I. I'll do it for Molly. Dude, Molly set the whistler on a fucking hit to kill Eugene. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate. Here's a track for all you lovers out there. Now, this is a track that every lover here knows. All right, it's my favorite track. Uh, the Hang Ups. Let me go. Here we go. Much like Molly is letting Eugene go for the final time. Enjoy. Hmm. What song should I play? How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. Uh-huh. She isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Damn. Is it maze maze for kids? You were gonna go last week. I Isn't that, that for maze children? Maze was for kids. It's not just for kids, Forrest. The maze maze is fun for kids and adults. Why'd she change her mind? Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Brad? Damn. Does everyone have dates in the maze maze? Does everyone in Gallus Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Uh-huh. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. What? God, she probably Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I believed it till right then. Ain't no way. What? You don't have the number of your receptionist? You don't have the number of the receptionist that works the front fucking desk of your business. You guys don't like... This isn't so... No, 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 chat. No, 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 chat. I know her personal phone isn't like what would be the obvious given thing. This is someone that apparently Peggy themselves said was planning on going to the maze maze with them. Like th this is like someone that they consider like a friend then. So why, how did they not have their personal number? How, how, how has this not become a thing already? How did they not have numbers? I'm angry. I'm furious. And honestly, it's par oh, for the course here on. Stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. All right. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know. Barbara. Yeah, yeah, I uh, know Barbara. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Definitely. Help me out, Peggy. Yes. Sits at reception. What's that? Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Yeah. Ring any bell? No. Right. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah, yeah. No yeah. excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Yes, I will. Go do that. Okay. I'll be right back. That nerd in that fucking maze needs my help. And goddammit, I'm gonna save him because- Ooh. 
No, it's not for me. It's for the killer. I'm not gonna get owned. Not like that. Let's do this one for Eugene. Besides, I already know what I need. It's right there. It's just, I'm not allowed to go behind the desk, actually. So I'm gonna have to wait for Barbara to get here and hand me the maze. Wait a minute, chat. Wait a minute. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that there is in the center of the maze maze a fucking landline? Like a fucking, like, telephone booth? Wait a minute. Hold up. When is this, when does this game take place? Hang on a second here. Like, 1987, when were cell phones invented? Like, I know that, like, we're kind of in that range, but, like, 80s, when were, like, cell phones, like, brick cell phones, right? Like, the early 80s? We, look, it's a video game. You don't have to think about it too much, but a lot of people traveling a lot of distance on these cell, on these, like, phones during these murder sequences, and I'm sitting here wondering, how, like, eh, how the fuck does Barbara not have a cell phone in the world where I guess everyone has a giant fucking satellite phone with them? Bingo. Here's what I was This dude's for. dead. I'm gonna kill him. I'm not doing fun. I can't. This 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 kid's fucked. It's over. It's over. Are you kidding me? Fucking maze maze. Shit. Oh no. <laughs> One out of four, dude. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Save Eugene or so help me God. Okay, so help me God. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trap. I'll run outside oh, and kill the whistler myself. Uh, never mind, it doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome Eugene. back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. He's gonna be fine. Eugene, you're back on air. <laughs> I'm lost, Forrest. Damn, the acoustics in the maze maze are fucking wild. Out of this world. I've been across Holy the heck. Facing a tractor statue. Facing a tractor statue. There are bales painted gold on my right. Hang on, it's gonna take one second. I think you're near the sus guy. I think you're near the guy that looks like a, it looks like a weird guy, like two eyeballs, kind of staring right at you. I think it's kind of near that guy. What the fuck? Uh, he's at a crossroad facing a tractor statue, gold hay bales on his right. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so he's he's right next to one right now, facing the tractor statue. Where the fuck is even the exit? Hang on, uh, one second. 
uh, Eugene, I just have to also solve the maze with my actual eyes in the real game and in real life. So just give me one second here. Uh, let me pull out a crayon. I'm gonna have to draw this on my monitor. Uh, okay, so starting at the top. Well, that's where I need to go. So we would want to go... Oh my god, this is gonna take him all night. Eugene, have you thought about uh, trying to fight the Whistler? To the death, because like honestly, it's gonna take you a little bit. Like, this is a lot of steps, Eugene. We got other people we have to put on the line. Um, just run through the fucking corn. Okay, so we want to go up. Okay, and we want to go up again. I'm guessing. Yeah, no, 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 no. Obviously, we're gonna go up. It's up. Everything else doesn't even connect to it. So he's going up. He's going up to start. Uh, wait. Oh, I can't just tell him up. He's got a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Gold hay bales on his right. That means I need him to go left. Go left. Fucking hell, this kid's dead. Okay. Okay. My guy, are you winded? I went left. Are you winded? I tried a right. I have a pig statue in front Went of me. left and then tried a right. Rocking horse on my left. Oh, 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 hang on, Eugene. So we're just trying things? Are we mixing in some feeling in this? Is this a freestyle cooking class, Eugene? Do you want to sprinkle a pinch of some fucking, like, paprika in this one? You want to fucking really mix it up? I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up the phone. Here on 189.16. Go fuck yourself. I hang up the phone. No, no, no. We're not. He had a pig statue in front and a rocking horse to his left. This. Okay, okay, okay. So he's facing the pig statue. So he's he's at the intersection of four and three. Uh, rocking horse to his left. Okay, we need him to go backwards. We need him to go backwards. Because he's facing pig statue. We need him to go backwards so he's going towards five. Because we need to take him down towards six and seven in order to leave. So he's going backwards. Go backwards. Oh my god, the whistler has a <laughs> fucking god. chainsaw. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Uh, up ahead? How far up ahead? Uh, okay, I'm going to assume he's at the intersection to the south of five, which means he's going to be taking another left. Go left. What, are you going to fucking cry? Holy shit, Eugene. There's a tiny barn in front of me and a scarecrow behind me. Okay. So he's in between six and eight right now. Uh, we want, if he's facing eight, which is the mini barn, he wants to take a right. Yes. Go right. Dude. I can't run. Much more. Then it doesn't sound like you want to live that badly, huh, Eugene? Now keep fucking pass. running. All right, let the I adrenaline kick in and you fucking go for it or you're going to die. And that's not my problem, it, okay? Else. Oh. Please. Where do I go? You gotta fight for it, Eugene. Just passed a corn silo. Didn't see anything else on the way. Corn silo is nine. Wait. Oh, this one's shitty. He just passed a corn silo and didn't see anything else on the way. So he just took that really long weaving thing. So if he just passed it, he's at the intersection, I guess. Which means he's just got to take a right and he's out. Technically. I see where he is. Technically, he just takes a right and he's out. But I don't know if it's vaguer than that. It's giving me the option, so he's got to go right. It's his next right. No matter what, his next right is the way out. So he's fine. No problem, Eugene. 
No I problem. Love you, Molly! Okay. That was tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. We saved another I think life. It went pretty well, all told. Fifty percent. <laughs> I think you're right. We've been we beefed way, it at the beginning with a couple too many jokes, but now we're bringing it back. Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. I was gonna fucking totally dunk on him with sound effects, dude. Well, they didn't even give me the chance. They didn't even fucking consider that maybe I'd want to do eight different sound Thank effects and totally fucking own him on air. We'll make sure to Fuck. add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Clives being done really dirty tonight of all nights, chat. This is why you shouldn't have like a fucking on air radio station 911 call system. Because now. Every Clive in town has a target on their back because one of them might be a serial killer, even though there's really no evidence that that's anything. Every Clive right now is having a really bad time. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Dude, we are going to get fucking arrested by actual cops at the end of tonight. What are you kidding me? Peggy, what the fuck did you just say on air? What the fuck? <laughs> We're gonna be starting up a really cool witch hunt. Uh, <laughs> the only good Clive is a dead Clive. We know this. We all know this. If all the Clives are gone, well, then we're not gonna have to worry about him no more. Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. Okay. Hope it's not a fucking Clive. Collar, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know about wonderful, but uh, thanks. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Play my tune, Forrest. Yeah, Your what turn. is it though? Sure. Long ride home. That old song. Sure. We don't have it. it. <laughs> we, we, uh, yeah, we don't have it. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. We don't have it. All right, folks. Coming up is that old. We classic. don't have it. Uh, Forrest. We don't I have it. don't think you're gonna find that we song. We don't have it. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. What do you mean we don't have what are you it anymore? Talking about. I threw it away. Why'd you throw it you away? You threw it in the trash? Why would you no, throw it away? I, I threw it out the window. We don't just today. throw things around here, Peggy. Peggy, we don't just throw things around because we're having a bad day, Peggy. That's just not how it fucking works, and I don't know why you do that. Kind of pisses me off. Why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. Damn, you and Brad got some stuff going on. So wow. I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Jeez. What do we do then? All right. So, uh... If she tells me to go outside and get it, I'm gonna scream. Guess you Let's better... Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. All right. Gotcha. Okay, folks, here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Uh, sorry, everyone. Now I have to pick a different fucking song that's totally not really what I was planning. It's gonna take me a minute to recalibrate the old music receptors and find something that's actually worth fucking putting on the station. Uh, give me one more second here on, uh... This is, uh, 1980X from Blast hey, Process. something. Shut the fuck up. All right, you wanted, like, oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to make sure that I picked carefully. I don't want you to throw this one out the window. Like, the last one, Peggy. Oh, wait, you wouldn't be able to reach anyways. You've been locked inside your room, cowering in fear for the last fucking four hours while I've been outside stumbling around mouse traps, getting my toes ripped up. Okay? Go fuck yourself. Time for some music. All the songs to request. Why'd it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? 
wrote that song for one. Jesus. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just Peggy, request you know bodies? you work at a radio oh, station, Forrest, right? Scrap the song. I'm guessing we every have caller. I'm guessing every song gets a little boring when you're when you work at a radio station and you're playing it every like this is your job. It's not really supposed to be like too much fun. Hang on. Caller on line one. Okay. Uh Mike's working. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16 The Stream. This is Forrest Nav. Forrest. Murphy! Oh, thank God. Murphy! It's me again. Murphy! Murphy! What's wrong? Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. No. I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? Uh, that's not important right uh, now. Just I, I, tell I, me what happened. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why you would have felt like you trusted him. Uh. Damn. Oh God damn! I smell smoke. No, 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 no. I think he started a fire. No, 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 no. Call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or. I'm gonna die. You're not gonna die, Murphy. We're not gonna let hey, you die. Fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. Yeah. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. Holy shit. I mean, the guy won. The serial killer won. Like, we suck, Peggy. Holy shit. Like, this dude has fucking absolutely taken us to the fucking cleaners. We lose. It seems like we deserve to all be serial killed tonight. Like... Like this dude's gone above and beyond. They can't do anything. Every Clive I one. I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. Okay. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. Oh my God. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old, really old. Okay, I'll check the map. See who would be best to do this. Okay, what am I supposed to be actually fucking? So where's the guy? So the dude right now, he said he was at Gallo's Waste Disposal, right? Okay. I forgot every single other detail. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, so Alex, we need whoever's closest, right? So Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road right next to Romero Street. Where the fuck is that? Right next to Romero. Get this shit out of the way. Wait, is that going to matter? Well, hang on. Oh, my God. Gallows Creek Road closures. East side McCready Street will be closed from the 2nd to the 9th of September for maintenance. Residents will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. Of course, uh, that's really, really fucking convenient. Um, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I'm happy for us. Um, Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road right, Road right next to Romero Street. So he lives right here. Uh, which, I mean, doesn't look like it would actually... Wait, where is Rogers Avenue? Huh? Where the fuck is Rogers at? Oh, okay. So. Yeah, no, that shouldn't matter. Yeah, no, this this doesn't come up for this. Where's McCready Street? Okay, okay, okay. East side McCready Street will be closed. Uh, which means there's no connecting 
this and this. This spot's... Th okay. This guy's fucking dead. <laughs> Chat, what I just clocked from trying to read this uh, fucking map for 10 seconds is Murphy's fucking dead. Uh, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to pick this right. He's fucked. Uh, Alex is close. Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. Literally don't know where that is. Hey, Peggy! Hey, Peggy, do you want to fucking help? What if I just get the old man? Jericho lives at the east end of Myers Lane. He's really old, though. I'm gonna get the old man. We're just gonna get the old man. The old man's probably got a gun or something crazy. We're gonna call the old man. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? I'm gonna need you to call Jericho. Call Jericho. All right, give me a second. Look, chat, here's how I think about it. If Jericho doesn't work out and Murphy really is almost killed in a big, like, death fire lit at the waste disposal facility by the serial killer, well, he's already attempted to double his power. All he can really do now that he's doubled his power and still wasn't enough is Zenkai boost. So I'm assuming that if we push Murphy to his very limits, he may in fact become powerful enough to defeat the Whistler. Also, Peggy, call all three. Is that an option? Peggy? Peggy? They're on the way. Peggy? They'll call from the plant. Okay. You can direct them from there. Oh, fuck. Let's hope they get there in time. They didn't. It just blacked out because he didn't. Because it's an old man. Forrest, I'm getting a call. I don't know where I am. Oh, hang on. Do I have Are answer? you sure you can't? Oh, my God. I was too What's late in Peggy? the night. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Old man Jericho wasn't fast enough. I don't know why I even meant- Why did you? Okay, I get that I picked him because I thought it'd be funny. But why did you, Peggy? Like, why did you suggest them? Because part of my brain was like, okay, there's got to be a benefit to using Jericho, maybe. Him, but I did. The plant burned down. It collapsed. So Murphy is. Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. Oh! I forgot all about Fernando. It's his third birthday! Oh, rough one. Ain't no way. <laughs> what a rotten way to go. Yeah, Fernando will be crushed. Just like his dad. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> poor kid. Forrest, that, I wasn't 16. trying to set you up for a punchline. No, I know. Really, Peggy? Because you've been acting like quite the clown all night, actually. Uh, so it's hard to... Sometimes it's hard to... I'm getting, like, mixed messages sometimes because, like, you're suggesting old men when I need to get someone quickly to a destination to save someone's life. You're suggesting, like, 80-year-old fucking like idiots uh so it's just like Ugh. i just don't know what's going on you know it's Murphy, like i just don't know I what's going on we will stop this for you and for fernando yeah for sure Peggy. for sure for sure for sure it's going to be all right. for sure 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 let's not wait uh anyways before we um take that call we are of course going to air something that i guess maybe murphy right, wasn't really paying attention Another to as closely as he should have so once line. again we're just going to run this one more time uh, please consider that this may be life or death. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to- I just want to be very clear, uh, just cut in kind of like, you know, a little bit of the, like, forest Nash, like, kind of like, sidebar here. We all know Murphy didn't double his power, and that's probably where he went wrong. I suppose I should to take unlock this your inner warrior for only twenty-four ninety-nine. Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate. Oh yeah. And receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. Yeah. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. Mm -hmm. The power of the alligator. I the shot. discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The poise of the scorpion. Wow. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. 
I think we can all agree now, listening through it, that the one thing that Murphy was missing was the wisdom of the bullfrog. Ribbit, ribbit. I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it, and I think that's where the that's where the real shame really comes around. Uh, moment of silence for Murphy and Sandra and I need to take the call. Tiffany. I don't fucking know who else. Um, uh, Eugene. No, they lived. Um, this one goes out to you. We're going to keep candles lit by the uh, windowsills uh, to help your spirits move on to hell or heaven. I don't know your deal. I don't think that serial killer really... I, I don't think they were... I'm going to just turn on the uh, thing. Caller waiting for us. The Scream. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Oh, yeah. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers... Dude, that's like the president. Gallows Creek. Dude, that's like... Dude, that's like the president, oh, man. man. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. Okay. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need okay. to keep us safe. All right. Okay, Teddy. We... I know you're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. Okay. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. Yeah. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. All right, Teddy. Thanks. Teddy, go to hell. Teddy, stop. Teddy, this isn't the time for your political ads. Stop. I just want to make sure our town. Yeah, Teddy, is it's the time to teach people how they can get more powerful to protect That's themselves. Why the Gallows family Using back classified techniques, I'll back. unlock your inner chi after only five 30 minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low Unless price of only $24.99. Just call 555 7861 USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. What problem? A problem that's ruining our town. Lay it on me. You know what it is? What is it? What is it? Oh, I have to answer it. Uh, well, you're, the, the waste plant that processes all of the shit and refuse from town is currently in a gigantic inferno that's spreading horrible shit smell all the way across the entire fucking tri-state area it's pretty bad we've got like a chernobyl situation here except it's all shit uh so that's pretty bad actually um it's like a it's actually like really bad it's actually when i think about it now it's not even really like a joke it's actually really bad your family waste plant just burned down so now we have nowhere to dump our garbage the problem is that woman our current mayor Linda Cartwright. Why? The oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, uh -huh. and- You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it- Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Guys, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to get involved in this. This kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of I'm not I'm not getting involved and in this. I'm gonna enough. go back to channeling uh, my chi. Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after. Yo, hearing Peggy, talk. also just like just play an uh, ad for us? I need yeah. a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. The problem is, Peggy, the only ad I still have to run is Well, Teddy's mayor ad is the problem. So it's like I have an ad, it's just... <sighs> Time to play a commercial. Yep. Yep. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. <laughs> is Gallows Creek. Like his father, and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, I'm, like, I'm just like mouthing George Bain. I'm fucking sorry. Make Gallows sorry. Creek I'm sorry. a good place to raise I'm a family. <laughs> Unlike current mayor left. Linda Cartwright, Teddy understand. Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. Sorry. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors, like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Amen. Mayor. Cartwright
Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Bro, what the Teddy fuck? Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. God, what a jackass. 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Nah, good. we're done with ads. We did them all, ask, which means I can play the good take one. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day. Love sports. He never lets anyone love sports. Right. Just love sports. <laughs> Let's just get back to the show. We all love well, sports folks, here, guys. Hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. <laughs> you mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Caller on line one. Well, golly, I sure hope they're not getting freaking murdered by the whistler. <laughs> here on 189.16. <laughs> I have a caller. Oh, okay. Sorry, Peggy. Hello, Hello? caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hello? Uh, Hello? Hello? Caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I... Yeah, 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 that's been happening, that's been happening, that's old news, that's old news. Um, yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it, she's just a kid. Well, look, honestly, here's the problem right now, um, we're gonna try to help you, but we're getting like 18 different calls because most of the town is burning down, um, because there's currently a waste disposal plant fire that is spread down Wayland Road and Carpenter Avenue and is just about to reach Ironside Power Station and I mean god forbid it reaches Giblet Field cuz that is going to that is just a fucking wildfire waiting to happen that is like that is immediately an inferno if it gets all the way over there but yeah sure I can help you like get your single you know person out of the uh yeah where are you where are you are are you somewhere safe oh my god oh my god Stay with me, kid. Focus. I can't do this. Damn. Well, uh... Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me. What's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? You good? Uh, Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there. Alright? Now, where are you? Okay. The old murder house, huh? Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Hang on. Um, yo, hey, uh, hey, Peggy, do we have a map for the murder house? Yeah, hang on one second, Carrie. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can find a map of the murder house. You give me one sec. Peggy, what the fuck? I literally don't know where that is. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll do, uh, bedroom, bathroom, or closet. Uh, look, closet, stupid. Bedroom, jump out the window. You're good to go. I don't understand why people would dare hide in a fucking closet when there's a bedroom. You can jump out the window. Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll... You're gonna be fine. <laughs> They're just hearing this in the fucking background when Forrest, she's trying to hide. I don't think we can. Uh, don't move. Don't move. She's dead. I killed her right there.
Wait, what? Wait, hang on. Oh, oh, they're talking about, okay, so th this was all a prank. I thought that all of them were in on it, but me and Peggy, and I was just gonna double down on the, this is a radio broadcast, people, and they can't see my face. What? What? Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke, jeez. It's just a fucking prank, Wait, dude. Isn't that... Jimmy! I'm not just what some guy. guy. Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. What are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. And I'm not old man. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. Damn. Jimmy, you're sick. You're fucked up. You're crazy, man. You need to go home. <sighs> Jimmy, this is a pretty sick thing to do. Whistling night. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in. <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Wait. Who's under there anyway? Wait, wait, wait. Is that you? Wait, that wait, 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 wait. Seth is right next wait, to wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Uh, Jimmy, get the fuck out oh, of no. there. Who, uh, who are you? Oh, no, I'm dead. Wow. Uh. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. That's the only reaction I would have at this point is holy shit. Scott Heather. <laughs> the fact that everyone's about to get owned, I don't know what the fuck I'd possibly say. I feel like I'm not very helpful. You bought time, but not much. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Hi. Forrest picked up. <laughs> Hang on, Carrie, 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 Carrie. Who is with you, Carrie? Carrie, listen up, listen carefully, all right? I'm gonna play you an ad. Oh, of course, the van. Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Jimmy. Jimmy, classic Jimmy. Carrie, Carrie, I'm gonna need you to focus on your breathing and focus on doubling your power. It's the only way you get out of this one. Do you seek ancient you wisdom? Need to double your Do you power? want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only 24 nights? The only way you get out of this is by unlocking your inner warrior. It's pretty much the only way. All right. It's it's literally the only way at this point. I'm going to need you to focus. Focus. Stay focused, Carrie. Focus. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. They're going to be Just fine. Sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're going to get killed. <sighs> if only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. Damn, she what are the odds? Tonight. Force, listen. We'll see what we can come up with, and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad, actually. I think hey, we Carrie, out maybe do. you're just a fucking hater. But I don't... Do you ever think about that? On who should do what. I think you'll have to be. Did you ever think about that? But I... Shut up, you... Ugh. Damn! Did she just I, tell I, me I to shut up? Friends. Ugh. These damn kids never I played learned. them all the help they needed. Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate. I literally played them all the help they needed and they didn't fucking listen to me. They're just dumb kids. They don't know anything They're about anything. They're just dumb kids. Ugh. They do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one goes out to all of them. Uh, fuck it, hold on. Uh, 
uh, we're gonna play the um, everyone's favorite, uh, David Scopo's Moonlight. Yes. Enjoy. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. All right. Hopefully she has something we can use. Okay, I'll be right back. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Should only take me a second. Chat, here's the thing though. If Clive did it, it would add up because I think of all the janitors in the world, this is the one that would be the closest to breaking. There is someone in this building who pisses literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. Clive spends most days mopping up piss. So... I feel like he's got the he's got a solid motivator to want to snap like a twig and go crazy, psycho cuckoo crazy. I mean, fucking hell, I'm gonna turn this corner and there's gonna be a fucking gigantic pile of shit, like just piss. Just look at this, look at this. Where is? So many locked doors, so few keys. She's downstairs. I just don't know where. Did Peggy like slide a fucking key for me and I didn't notice? I'm not getting in there tonight. Oh yeah, they definitely probably did. Hang on. That or they're like out here and they're like in some tiny Oh I bet they're the person over here in the corner. It did say they like hid them in the corner. I just thought it'd be like one of the back rooms. They really tucked Jeannie away. Damn. All right, Jeannie, so, uh, that's nothing. Friendship quiz. This might work. What the? Hello? Hello? I think someone stepped on my mouse traps. Hello? Hello? Huh. Pe Peggy? Wait a minute. I'm starting to think it might have just been the sound of something falling off of the desk because everything sounds incredibly loud in this game when it falls. I think we're okay. All right, I'm ready. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one. Whenever you're ready. Why the fuck do I can't like these friends should be able to figure this out on their own if they're really friends? Like it's really Time depressing that I, again. random radio host, have to solve this for them. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Six Carrie, are you there? Yes. We've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. Okay. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. All right. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first. We'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. D so Hot David implies that you also have a normal David or like an ugly David. Is there like a second David on this list that's like labeled under something else? Like why is it just Hot David? Uh, well, look in here, um, most likely to become an Olympic athlete, looks like, um... Uh... It's gonna be Heather, because Heather's also most likely to peak Everest, so it looks like they're kind of, uh, gonna be both. I can tell you who it's not gonna be is fucking Kyle. It's not gonna be Kyle, it's gonna be Heather. Heather's got this. Yep. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two, the whistling Wait a minute, I don't see Kyle. Uh, dude, Kyle fucking you, sucks. I don't see him on anything else. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Who should pick the lock? Uh, let's see here, Seth. 
Mm, well, the thing is, Seth is uh, most likely to end up in prison, so he's a bit crazy, a little nasty. But it seems like Jennifer is the most likely to escape prison. So I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Jennifer. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Huh. Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably be easier that way. Then is part four. Okay, uh this plan is long. You guys should have all just dogpiled the serial killer and been heroes. It would have been a lot easier. Well, this is a long plan. How much more is there? Only a couple more points. You're like, doing there was, right. like, fucking five What's of you. Like, part? just get him. Part four, we need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. Uh, most who should lure the killer by running away? Uh, well, Heather's already doing their thing, which means next up. Boy, oh boy, how do I even fucking tell them that Scott got done so dirty? Same Scott and Kyle, basically non-existent as far as Jeannie and Carrie are concerned on this list. Like they, they are, they have been done so fucking dirty. Holy crap. Uh, all right. Uh, barely friends. We're not gonna worry about it. Uh, it's gonna be Hot David. Hot David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh, you spend a lot of time running shirtless. You got this, Hot David. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. Yes. A runner distracts the killer while uh -huh. we grab the van keys and yes. pick the lock on the gate. Yep. Now the tricky part. And receive direct by video warrior instruction from me. Well, we can't Master Oh, fuck. Hang on. I'm still doing stuff. Sorry. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Okay. This feels like the dumbest part. Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Let's see here. Who should use acting to lure the killer in? Mm. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face. Does... Yeah, but is a good poker face good acting? Wait a minute. I'm confused. Should I be picking Cynthia because they're the worst? No, we want someone who's good at acting, which means we'd want... Well... We'd want Tammy. We'd want Tammy, not Cynthia. Cynthia's gonna blow it. We want Tammy. I think we want Tammy. Tammy. We'll pick Tammy. Tammy, if you survive this, never do that British accent again. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Okay. Who's our getaway driver? The, Should it know. be? Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Sounds like you guys are kind of phoning it in. Like, considering you just shrugged and said, I pick. I don't know. I got a good question. Which one of you has a license? <laughs> Which one of these three has a license? I guess give it to Chad. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go-karting experience will be great, Chad. Chad, what if there's That's another side to this? This might all work out still. This might all still be okay. Though the driving one feels like, uh... No, Tammy was correct for the acting. Tammy was correct. The driving one seems to be the only one that ha might not play Talks. out right. And it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. 
That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Yeah, I just wish I'd realized there's a backside. Fucking hell, Peggy. Are you fucking kidding me? You could see it the whole time. Unbelievable. Yeah, I think they're screwed. Well, let's hope you're wrong. Literally didn't tell me there's a backside the whole time. That's wild. That's actually wild. What am I doing now? Oh. Oh, the kids are back already. Holy shit. Mind Sorry about that, everyone. No music. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. One Listener of discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go. Okay. Don't die. <laughs> Don't die, okay? You got this. Here we go, everyone. Smarter. To the roof. Go, Heather. They're gonna be fine. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter signal. Okay. Spotter says go. Okay. Going well. Wait. Lock picker, go. I'll get the keys off. Jim. Okay. Sound good. His face is... The keys, Carrie. You need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him. <laughs> you will learn the four qualities of an oh, ultimate conqueror. Oh, the power of the alligator. I the I discipline of the focus. tarantula. I the speed of the tuna. I the the poise of the scorpion. Wow. And the I'm using this to describe the bullfrog. <laughs> using classified. Okay. Ah, Jennifer got the gate unlocked. Nice job, Jennifer. And Hot David should be back any. Hot David's oh, back. Perfect. All right. It's working. I can't believe it's actually working. You're doing great. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get All right. Position. Everybody else, hide. Okay. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends. No. Ah. Oh. There he is. I think we're ah. fucked. I think that's it. No, he's not. No, he's fucking not. Okay, okay. Wait, no, he knows. Okay. Now, push the bookshelf over. How'd that go, Carrie? Oh my god, they both went through the floor. Ooh, well, Poe, but he's nerfed. He can't win them all. You know, two out of seven ain't bad. She's coming down. And yes! Heather! Quick, everyone to the You back. see, they're succeeding right now because of the wisdom of the bullfrog. Driver, ribbit, ribbit. Take the keys. Piece of cake. The damn gate swung shut. Huh? What's happening? What? It won't stay open. I'll hold it. You drive through. What's happening? Carrie! What was that? It's a whistling man. Drive! Now! Man, this is wild, man. I can't believe this is all happening on the screen. Consider using the chi. Oh, the techniques all oh unlock God. your inner chi after only five 30 minute video oh. mm. video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours oh. now. Is it over? Peggy, should I keep running the ad? Carrie? <sighs> for, for the low, low price of only $24.99. You just stared at me. Oh, you're fine. Carrie? Carrie? Nice. Easy win. You're welcome, by the way. God, you're okay. You're welcome, by the way. Can you get somewhere safe? You're welcome. You're welcome, by the way, Carrie. I can make it home. Hey, Carrie. What do you say to me? Thank you. Thank you both for helping. There it is. If you hadn't, I... 
Yeah, no it problem. It was your plan, Carrie. Don't thank me. It was me. a great plan. Thank the dojo. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. All right, all right. Well, Kevin, you have a good night. Never forget the element of surprise. If you buy you today, better watch this up on the way home, Kerry, because you don't know if they're gonna come back. All right, that's something I learned from Master Robbie, motherfucker. Watch yourself out me. there. You'll be fine. Call today. Before he changes his mind. Right. I, I need to get home. Yep. I... Breathe, Kerry. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Wow. We're heroes, you know that, Peggy? Folks, that was a... Uh, We're goddamn heroes. Our Holy thoughts hell. go out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Oh shit, I actually have to pick a song. Uh, okay, um, stab in the twilight, knife, and easy. <laughs> We're done. We're done. Hey, if you want to get through the rest of this game, uh, it's on Steam. You can enjoy it yourself and probably, uh, do it correctly. Uh, I, I beefed it. I beefed it. I beefed it. But that was a good time. That was a lot of fun. That was a good that was a good one. That was that was a much better execution of that game I played like a while ago. That one like it had less interactive shit to do, but the voice acting, the like characters were all like way more likable. I really enjoyed this one. I really, really did. Cool idea, fun puzzles, interesting, good time. Really liked it. Uh, anyways, chat, I'm gonna go. I wanna get some food. Uh, you might- I I'm probably gonna be playing some Diablo with the lads at some point, so keep an eye out. Over there. I'll be back tomorrow, maybe. We might be doing a stream tomorrow. If not, I'll be streaming again on Saturday. Uh, so I'll update you when I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I will- Yeah, no D&D &D tonight. No D&D &D stuff came up. So, uh, no D&D. &D. But I'll catch you all. Uh, next time. Pro maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I'll label it as tomorrow, but if it's not, then, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Thanks for the gifted subs and the donations and bits. As always, it's just so kind of you every time to support this stream. Especially now with the impending doom of the June contract alterations. I'm, it's...